Content warning. Trinity Continuum Adventure, The Undesirables, contains Nazis doing Nazi stuff. While we do our best to avoid gratuitous displays of atrocity, neither do we sanitize or shy away from the all-too-real violence and oppression Hitler's regime was notorious for. Our use of Nazis as antagonists is to display our heartfelt belief that the only valid response to Nazis and authoritarians of all stripes is vigorous opposition, both at the gaming table and in real life. Hello, hello! Welcome to the first episode of Simulacra Studios Presents Trinity Continuum Aeon Adventure, The Undesirables. Trin Onyx Path, I love you, but th it's just so long. It's, it's becoming a problem. I am your story guide, Scott, and we are going to be tailing a tale of excitement, adventure, and above all else, punching some motherfucking Nazis. Uh, so I will allow my Nazi punchers to introduce themselves, starting to the left of my left. Hi, I'm Ryan. Uh, I'll be playing Melvin Cohen. My pronouns are he, him. Uh, Melvin is an engineer and codebreaker. Hi, I'm Murphy. Uh, my pronouns are uh, she, her, but I am playing um, a character named uh, Jackson Barden, who uh, pronouns are he, him, and uh, he's a put-upon private eye in between jobs. Hi, I'm Abby. My pronouns are she, her, and uh, I'm playing Beth Graham, also she, her, uh, a survivor of the uh, the mm, excuse me the Dust Bowl and uh, General Wilderness Guide. All right, um, my name is R Ray Cuban, and she her. I'm going to be playing Emma Kowalski, uh, also she her, a uh, mystic and theosophy weirdo. Weirdo. <laughs> theosophy weirdo. We're all weirdos here. We're all weirdos. All right, and my pronouns are he him, but I'll be playing people of all genders and and and. Types. He will be everyone I'll we be meet. Everyone, everyone the world around. Including the people we punch. Have you ever played an RPG? Let me explain things for you. Uh, no. So, we are going to open in Chicago. Uh, in that nebulous time between Christmas and New Year's in the year 1939. A bit later than the, the adventure book starts. Things have progressed a little bit from beyond that. The war is on. And the great debate in America is whether or not America will join the war. Uh, there are forces for and forces against this, and forces of an even more sinister intent at foot. But none of them are around at the moment because we are in the Chicago Brownstone headquarters of the Aeon Society, where the Society is throwing its holiday party. Uh, you know, to the outside, it's a Christmas party, but on the inside, it is a true holiday party. There are many different rooms that are set up to celebrate and educate about the wintertime holidays from cultures and nations from all around the world. Many of the society's best and brightest are gathered here this evening to celebrate, to learn, and perhaps start some adventures of their own. Um, we will move our camera through the rooms to Ray. What is Emma up to at this party at this moment? Ah, uh, she is probably off to the, off to the side of the Odorbs table, mm -hmm. just kind of watching everybody, uh, kind of looking slightly beyond anybody, just kind of maybe picking up on some auras, but not really focused on anything. And can you describe your character for us, please? Oh, sure. Uh, Emma is 5'3", uh, curly black hair. She is wearing what I am wearing, so she has a cute little uh, head wrap. Um, and she is all dolled up in her lovely dress. Excellent. Uh, the camera moves around to another area of the party uh, where it focuses on Murphy. Could you please describe your character for us and tell, her, tell us what he's up to in this little soiree? Uh, sure. Um, pretty, uh, nondescript, average-looking man, or, um, like, not really secretive about being a trans man, but, like, other than that, like, 
um, pretty unassuming. Uh, he walks up to the bar and um, orders a whiskey and kind of eyeballs the room and tries to uh, start striking up a conversation with the bartender, asking if uh, what's the wildest thing they've heard tonight. Uh, the bartender has to like sit and think for a moment, uh, and uh, as he's pouring your drink, uh, and he he mentions that uh, he heard a tale about a uh, something going on in South America uh, regarding pterodactyls on the world loose. Uh, you know what? Things have been going going weird in the Aeon Society for a number of years, and. Even that is plausible, uh, based off what you've heard. But still, pterodactyls. We the camera moves back over to another part of the party where Abby. Please describe your character and what she is doing in this party at the moment. Sure. Uh, there is a large woman that just seems to honestly be uh, sitting and listening to everything around her. Uh, she has again short hair. Uh, a noticeable eye patch, and um, uh, it is clean. It is, you know, as nice looking as, as she intends to manage for this event. But it is a, a, a collared shirt underneath a, a nice sweater, and uh, yeah, you know, Beth is is mostly on the lookout. She's kind of interested where people have been in the world for the past year, and uh, maybe if she can get in on some of that. All right, and finally, character the camera moves its way to another part of the brownstone. Where Ryan, please describe your character and tell us what he's up to here. Well, looks like me. Mm -hmm. You're looking at it. But for those of us who are just listening, because there's plenty of you, I'm where uh, he's wearing. A, I'm about five ten, kind of chubby, black hair, facial uh, goatee, and uh, just a uh, you know rolled up sleeves, black shirt, green tie, dark pants. And what he is currently doing is very drunkenly building the largest house of cards anyone has ever seen in this in this building. And he is on, he has sent uh, an intern out for a third deck of cards. Uh, and that, uh, that attendant is, is rifling through the poker decks and, 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 and whatnot. He's ha he's, he comes back with and says, I had to interrupt a game, sir, but uh, this is just too this, impressive. This to... is, it's too important. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. But anyway, so... The party moves on. Uh, some people leave, some new people come in. It is a festive time. Uh, you know, you, everyone hears tales here and there of strange doings out in the world. Um, but uh, every so often, the, the conversation comes back to the war. Uh, you know, people came into this party, everyone wanting to set that aside for an evening at least. But no one can stop talking about it entirely, uh, especially with the political back and forth uh, ab about this America First movement that has such a, such a great deal of momentum in the Congress and other places. Uh, this very isolationist and some might say pro-Nazi wing of American government uh, that keeps coming up. Um, but Eventually, as things start to die down, you know, more people, more and more people, uh, most of the, you know, invited guests start to make their way out about 10 o'clock in the evening. It is, after all, a work week, uh, work day. Uh, and it's more and more just society members, of which all of you are. And as you are scanning the room, looking for, looking for interesting auras, of which you've seen quite a few, uh, you feel a tug at your elbow, uh, and you see the familiar face of your friend and mentor, Mr. Whitney, Whitney Stiles. Hi, Mr. Whitney. How are you doing today? Ah, Emma, I'm doing quite fine, quite fine. Uh, I wonder if you might do me the honor of coming up to the upstairs briefing room for a bit. There's a topic that I think you might need to lend your voice to. Sure thing. Excellent. Seen anybody interesting tonight? Oh, uh, that one, it's very purple, which is kind of interesting. I'm not quite sure what their story is. And um, that one particular person just seems to be a little bit too much of a busy bee. The one building the house of cards? No, no, no. But he's pretty interesting, too. Hmm, I see, I see. Well, it's got yeah. some red there. Some red there? Okay, I'll, I'll keep an eye out. All right, let's go. Well, well I, I need to 
gather a few more people. Uh, you head up, and we'll we'll see you shortly. All right. And uh, Whitley Styles is a he's a short man. Uh, he's wearing a hat much like this. Uh, he has a ridiculous mustache, uh, and he's uh, wearing a uh, what is would traditionally be a a a uh, an outfit uh, associated with the Indian holiday of Diwali. Uh, so he is looking very flamboyant. Very pretty. Uh, and he does make his way over to you. Uh, Melvin, uh, as you are putting the finishing touches on your edifice to uh, perspicarious physics. Hey, hey, look, Wit, I'm making the American government. Boop! And I just knocked it out. <laughs> there, are, there are chuckles, some of which are suppressed, some of which are, are mirthful, uh, because, well, hmm. Uh, but anyway, this gentleman uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a newsy hat and a very colorful robe approaches you. Uh, claps his hands uh, and says, you know what, I, I appreciate the joke, but let's sow a little bit more hope. And he waves his hands as the cards start to rebuild themselves. Show off. Ah, uh, well, you know. You, you guys and your weird magic. <sighs> it's not magic, my good friend. It's telluric science. I once thought so myself, but I've seen too much evidence to prove that this is a materialist phenomenon. I took a telluric bolt to the face and all I got was, I don't know, an ability to do math better. Well, it starts that way, but you know, the future has many surprises in store. Speaking of which, I would like to invite you to a potential avenue towards an interesting future. There's a conversation going upstairs in one of our more private salons that I think you might be interested in. Sounds good to me. This is a uh, up the stairs, fourth door to your left. Uh, he kept looking at the cards like, eh, all right, <laughs> it'll uh, be all right. <laughs> it, yeah, it, he's done it. It's not quite as like intricate or structurally like sound as what you built, but it's 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 pretty good, pretty good. Um, and as you head up, uh, he will head over uh, to where Beth is sitting. Uh, what's Beth doing uh, as the party starts to wind down? Uh, I think uh, Beth has uh, has found herself a drink and, you know, is kind of just enjoying the fact that she is in a nice surroundings, warm, comfortable, and uh, knows it has to end eventually, but at the moment is just literally getting her chill on. Okay, and um, uh, someone comes up on your left side uh, uh, and taps you on the shoulder. Uh, hello? Ah. Uh. Ah, greetings. Yes, hello. I don't know if we've met properly. Uh, Whitley Styles. Uh, Beth Graham. Hello. Ah, yes, yes Miss Graham. It's a pleasure to meet you. Um, something tells me that you uh, you might want to get your hands a little dirty. I'm not afraid of some dirt. You got people that need to get a certain place. Yes, absolutely. There is a, a place. Up in the up in upstate New York, that I think might your talents might be useful in navigating that area. So it's quite out in the woods. Uh, we're actually discussing things upstairs in in the uh, the brief, uh, one of our briefing rooms. If you would head ascend, uh, certainly. Yeah, society work tends to be interesting. Yes, yes. Uh, upstairs, fourth door to the left. Will do. And then he finally sort of surveys the, the rest of the party. Uh, what would Jackson be up to? Uh, I've been uh, leaning against the bar, um, probably interjecting myself into uh, if people around me are arguing about politics, just to make occasionally uh, saying some words to make the, uh, the argument a little worse. But I'm mostly watching <laughs> people who are watching him do the House of Cards thing. Ah, excellent. <laughs> An hour for that bit. <laughs> so, yeah, eventually... Uh, uh, when he does come around to you, uh, where you're where you're eavesdropping and, and looking at, and says, uh, "Jackson, pleasure to see you again." What? So, how uh, how's business? Slow or never. Uh, well, I I think let me close down the party though. Oh uh, well, you know it uh, it's it's winding down, but mm, more of a private party is going on upstairs. If you're perhaps interested in. One thing leading to another. That's exactly the kind of thing I'm interested in. Should I uh, follow yes, yes. the architect? Absolutely. Please do. Please do. 
uh, and he kind of looks around the room, kind of looks at the couple of the people that you pointed out, shakes his head a little bit, and he heads up to an upstairs room. Uh, it is kind of a... It looks it's it primarily serves as perhaps like a, a, a gaming room. There is a billiards table. Uh, there are a couple of uh, tables that are, uh, you know, show the signs of a few card games that have been played up, you know, that seem to have ended uh, prematurely for one reason or another. I, you see me, like, hard. pick up someone, someone's blackjack and it's like... <laughs> you did them a favor. Uh, but can't say I didn't try. Uh, the billiards table is not covered with uh, with balls or cues or anything like that. There is actually stacks of files and papers, Ooh, uh, kind, of, kind of haphazardly she got arranged. The clues? <laughs> Indeed, clues, uh, clue sense, tingling. Um, but yes, and there are several figures in this room. The most recognizable and uh, immediately uh, captivating is, of course. The marvelous Mr. Max Mercer. Holy crap. Indeed. He's a tall man, uh, 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 excellently coiffed facial hair. Um, he's wearing a smoking jacket um, and a pipe in one hand, and he is thumbing his way through a particularly thick file uh, and speaking with a, a couple of people here and there. And as you all start to filter in, he, uh, he goes around the room and finishes a couple of conversations until eventually the room is just him and the four of you. Uh, and uh, eventually Whitney comes in and joins as well. Uh, Whitney kind of like sits in the back of the room, kind of looking through a file, but indicates that the conversation should move its way to Max. And he says, greetings, my friends, greetings. It's a pleasure to see you all again. I don't, I don't know you all as well as I'd like, but I'm a ridiculously busy man. Ah. So, let's get to the point. Fucking Nazis. Oh, well, that's exactly what I came to talk about. Well, I came we're back going to do something about it, right? We are absolutely going to do mm -hmm. something about it. I have just received some very troubling news from my contacts within the FBI. And a few other places. It kind of indicates the, the pile of papers. Have you, any of you heard of this uh, movement, the the Christian Front? Yeah, the blowhard on the radio, Father McLaughlin's uh, movement to, well, push America towards theocratic fascism. No, but the, the White Rage Bomber had a real similar shtick. Hmm? Sorry, Jack. Oh, I just can't. I have... Oh uh, yeah, I, I, anyone who wants to have heard about it, it's a pretty, yeah. it's a pretty big movement. Um, unfortunately, uh, yeah, it's like kind of hard to miss it. Yeah. So there has been a number of troubling things happening regarding to this Christian front. Uh, the FBI, from what I understand from my contacts, are preparing a raid on their con on their compound on the uh, Pennsylvania New York border. Ah. Uh. They, uh, we believe, it is believed that they have received several shipments of guns from the United States military, stolen or otherwise procured by al their allies, and uh, things could get rather bloody. I didn't know it had gotten that deep. <sighs> it's, it's, unfortunately, we think a little deeper. And he, he kind of uh, indicates uh, a folder uh, he, and he, he picks it up and hands it to, to Jackson and says, please, please distribute. Uh, and uh, it is a series of photographs, not very good photographs, like taken from a distance, um, very, uh, very grainy and not well focused. Um, but you do see kind of this, um, it's a, it looks like it's an air, it's an airstrip. Uh, and there are several large crates that appear to be in the process of being offloaded from a, a transport plane. Uh, and he's in, uh, he says, uh, look for the woman in the long gray co coat, if you would. Uh, and uh, with a little bit of looking, you can identify in, in a, several of the photos um, the person that he's talking about. He says, that is, well... 
She was once an associate of the society. We have no long. We are no longer associating with her. Uh, she is a uh, by the name of woman by the name of Hephaestia Geerly Wexler, otherwise known as the Mechanatrix. She's a woman who believes in progress in the scientific and mechanical engineering fields, but does not seem to take in the lessons of the society's ethical constraints. She ah. will associate herself with whoever will fund her uh, fund her projects, and we believe that we believe that she's working with the Third Reich. So you think she's cooking up one of her gizmos for them? Yes, yes. We believe that these crates, we don't know what they contain, but one can only imagine that they are some sort of mechanical weaponry of her design. Um, he says, there are several figures of the Christian front we've identified in this photo as well. So, so this is their, this is, this was taken at their compound or this? No, no, no. This was taken at an airstrip not a uh, in, in upstate New York. Um, well, uh, Mr. Mercer, uh, if you have any more, uh, I don't know, stacks of information on these guys, I'm... Pretty good eye at picking picking things up pretty quickly if you put it in front of me. He, he indicates the table. He says, "All right." Uh, so someone get me a drink. We know the general area of their compound. Um, we have reason to believe that there may be a secondary compound uh, nearby. Uh, the fear is that if the FBI were to move on them without significant support that whatever whatever the mechanatrix has cooked up will turn the tide in a very bad way so we need someone we need people to find the secondary compound find out what's there sabotage destroy whatever it is within your capability to do so if it's too hot then we can call you can call for backup but i'm hoping and i believe that the skills of the four fine people I see before me are up to the task. I certainly know how to make things uh, fall apart if I need to. Indeed, indeed. Does the FBI know we're uh, poking around, or are we going to have to worry about them too? <sighs> From what we can tell, the FBI is planning early January, the first few weeks. Ho hopefully, we can deal with the, the mechanatrix problem and let... Uh, let our friends in uh, the the federal government deal with the, the Christian front on a more even keel. It would be better if there wasn't direct contact. We have contacts, allies. We're managing the situation to make sure that feathers don't get ruffled. But we'd rather this we'd rather this be hand, the, our aspect of it be handled quietly. After all, a victory of the American government against. Nazi-backed fascists would do well to get this country in the right mind of thinking. Yeah, if we do that, I don't think anyone would ever forget it. Of course, yes, that is the hope of it. So, can I count on the four of you to get this done? Yes, sir. Right, well, the information that we have is available to you. The resources of the society are uh, at your disposal. Uh, if you need anything, transportation, the like, we can arrange it. Uh, Whitney speaks up. It says, keep, keep your eyes open. I've seen things about this. This could go very badly if we don't, don't put this to bed as soon as possible. I've seen a bloody swath straight to the capital. And something strange. Something that my vision cannot pierce. Ooh. Did those usually come true for you, or, uh... I've developed my clairvoyant capacities with my, with my work for the society. It has, it has turned out fairly well, but I think that we can thwart it if we deal with the Machinatrix's devices. And I am confident that the four of you are the people for the job. I'll send you a bill for my usual rates, and I go start looking at the files. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You know, I am not much for the paper. I'll wait for the for you two to say something. We, we bump heads going for those stackies. <laughs> <laughs> but um, oh, fucking I'm ass. hearing two different messages here. One is keep things quiet, and the other says 
hit them hard. So if one comes into conflict with the other, which one do you want? I want no fucking Nazis on American soil. Odd it is. But let's leave our uh, our boys in the in the Federal uh, Bureau of Investigation some some mess to clean up. So hit the mechanatrix for. Yes, yes, that's what you should be focusing on, in my opinion. I would cry not if uh, these these fascist bastards uh, got their noses bloodied or or took a dirt nap, but. The society tends to deal with the extra normal, and we don't want to we don't want to push too hard far into the matters of the mundane. I mean, I've heard some nasty things about uh, what's going on over there. It's Indeed. bad. It's really bad. And uh, some of the stranger things that they're looking into. Yes, yes, yes. Well, hopefully, you'll be able to discover a shadow of what they're dealing with, and that will help us in the future. Uh, trust me, we we are keeping an eye on things over there. And if, uh, if if there's a chance to get a hold of any of her Taloric tech, you want it? If you can get it out of their hands safely, yes. But I, if there's any chance of it falling into or remaining in the wrong hands, I'd rather it destroyed. Seems right to me. All right. Well, you of course have a. Uh, the run of the place, you have uh, beds if you so wish. It is getting a little late. I know I've tied a couple on this evening. Uh, but by all means, the data is at your disposal. Uh, we have, uh, we can have, get a plane to New York uh, in the morning. So, read, rest, prepare, and happy holidays. It was a pleasure meeting you, Mr. Mercer. A pleasure meeting you. Good, good to see you again, Mr. Mercer. Yeah. Yes. And he uh, heads out of the room with uh, Styles in tow. So I'm immediately going to start, like, I'm going to, why not, blow connecting the dots. Okay. Uh, my Enigma's uh, All right. skill trick on, on the stackies. All right. So that mm -hmm. is an expenditure of momentum. Does everyone approve for that? Oh, yeah. Yes. All right. Also, I have a speed the speed reading edge, so I can read 20 times faster, and I can read basically any language, so... Nice. All right, well, go ahead and give me an Enigma's roll. Um, That's where I'm a Viking. Uh, <laughs> if, uh, Jackson, if you would like to assist in this, you could also make an Enigma's roll, and that will... Uh, I don't head. actually have Enigma's. You don't have Enigma's, huh? Nope. All right, then. Well, then. Uh, anyone, I'm anyone, I'm anyone, I would love to have, be able to help. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and make go me an Enigma's it. roll. Okay. All help Part is good help. Some dice. Sure. This, sorry. No problem. Did I okay, there he is. I was hoping I wouldn't have to roll until I got out there. Uh, Enigma's int? Uh, yeah, intellect would be inappropriate. Wow. That's a spicy roll. Is it Cody? Ah. Well, it's only one, though. Okay, so you will provide one enhancement to Ryan. Uh, so grand total, uh, five. Five? Okay, excellent. So, uh, there's a lot of information here. You immediately, like, you cut through a lot of the, you, you sort the, 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 the clues from the crap pretty easily. Um, it looks like they kind of threw a bunch of stuff at the wall um, fairly quickly. So you sort out all the, the stuff that's, a, that's crappy. So um, the core clue that you gather from this, having used your connect the dots to just eat through this in a matter of a few, of a few hours uh, with Emma's assistance. The core clue uh, that you get here is that it definitely seems like whatever this equipment that was brought in is very heavy duty, and you wouldn't you wouldn't doubt it that it is telurically powered, um, and that. Just based off your sort of engineer's eye, uh, based off the few few images that you got of like things being taken out of crates to be repacked, um, this is this is beyond military grade. Um, it would be an absolute slaughter if just you know FBI's with FBI's with some handguns and rifles were to yeah, come up, like roll, a, roll up on some American an, fascists. An M1 Garand isn't going to do it if they have like. You know, Chicago typewriters with telluric bullets. Got it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, yeah, you think that something major is at play here. Uh, so you have 
three more clues that you can use. Um, I adore the questions because those are those are the funnest to me. But, but you can also store them up, or you can. Uh, I've actually never interacted with the research slash and okay. like the system. So before. yeah, so you have three clues. Uh, you know these can be these can be used as questions, much like a you know in that that investigation mechanic that we're all familiar with. Right. That you know is essentially an inside joke to you, the audience. Um, so you can just ask questions, um, or you can store them up for enhancement on later rolls. There's a couple other things we can do, but those are the two I'm going to float by by you right now. So can I do a can I do a, clue, a one more clue and then store the rest? Or? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Okay, cool. Um, hmm. I don't want to spend too much time thinking about it, but hmm. how much? How are okay? So we said that did we talk about the power, like how they're powering it, like not just calorically powered, but like can I get a better idea of like which of these things is the power supply for this thing? Like, just so I can understand the scope and scale. You want another infrastructure? I kind of want to f- see what the infra... If there's going to be something we can look for in terms of a pull on infrastructure or something like that, because... Uh, but Yeah, so you are looking through these... You're looking through the photos. You're looking through, through some of the notes. Um, and you correlate some of the notes with one of the, the pictures. And you see this, like, metal box... Uh, probably about the the size of um, an oven uh, that has like you know um, it looks incredibly reinforced uh, and you find some notes regarding like shielding mm. and uh, you know uh, a sort of an accident report of someone being like burned. Um, know that story. Uh, so you think yeah you think that they have some sort of like contained power source that is pretty nasty. Uh, and one other question, is the Mechanatrix herself in the auspices of this set of clues, or would that be a separate thing to figure out? Uh, no, yeah, I mean, her her, pre- her presence and involvement in the direct situation, yeah. Okay, so I think one of the things I would like to know is the, the largest scale thing we know she's done. Um, the largest scale thing you know she's done uh, is her... There was an incident uh, in uh, Portugal uh, where some of uh, Franco's forces were probing, uh, and the Portuguese government uh, had paid her uh, to essentially make an automated defense system uh, that proved pretty useful uh, in warding off Franco's uh, uh, fascist forces. <laughs> automated as in, like, smart smart gun yeah, outside like, of, like, like modern yeah, smart guns? Modern smart guns, yeah. Oof! <laughs> uh, that was Oof. the most, like, recent thing, which speaks to her mercenary nature. Like, you know, she, she has, she doesn't seem to have, like, she doesn't care about your politics, she just cares about building fancy guns. And if you'll pay her to build fancy guns, she's on board. Real, a real hot man. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, so you have another clue that you can you can either use as enhancement. I think I'm just gonna hold. It. I think I'm just gonna hold that so yeah. we can move along and use it for enhancement on something yeah. else for later. So yeah, so a couple hours into the night, uh, what would everybody else be getting up to while this uh, flurry of paperwork is under? So, oh, go ahead. Oh no, 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 go ahead. Oh. I was just miming, like going through papers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, they're looking at like what she's building. I'm actually looking more for like on the ground clues, like Nolan Associates, um, like. Geographically, where does it look like things things are converging um, or coming from for their extra compound? And uh, actually, if y'all don't mind me using a momentum, I would like to uh, activate Grain of Truth. It's a culture skill trick. Um, character yeah, report. The character yeah. recalls a bit of urban legend or cultural story and uses it to correlate current events and gets a uh, spin the momentum and gets a clue. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You can. You can just. You just get a clue. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, okay. On. Some something that I put together about what. Their move, what, what her and her people's movements are. So, based on what you know, what was said before, that their their main camp, the FBI, has identified as mm-hmm. being just north of the Pennsylvania New York border. Um, uh, but uh, deeper into the woods in Pennsylvania, uh, so like northeastern, uh, there has been ta- there have been stories of. Um, Local reports of 
gunfire being heard uh, heard in the night, like you know, like firing range style, uh, and some weirder stuff about like hunting parties going out into the forests, like uh, um, uh, with loaded for bear with really really. Uh, you know, more than just standard hunting rifles. Like, local hunters have encountered people with, like, big guns who, who seem to be out hunting in the woods. They're just looking for Mothman. Uh, yeah, make a note of the uh, the closest towns to where that's happening mm-hmm. so we can start to narrow in where we're looking. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you get the, cool. the closest town there. What about Beth? What would Beth, uh, Beth actually, probably, since Jack has got the maps, will we'll also sort of hover and just, you know, every once in a while we'll just be watching these two in interest, but we'll mostly hover around, you know, trying to study the maps over the shoulders okay. or take the Oh, yeah, once I really are there, I try to... Okay. Yeah. yeah, and we'll also, Good like, the add wall. the odd question about what's going on. A very much, like, she's heard a lot of references to what's going on over there, and it becomes apparent to you that she's just not fully up to date. Um, and so we'll, we'll ask for information, and very likely expression will, will darken as any any information comes across but you get a feeling that this woman who doesn't follow it uh politics or you know the the world structure as much as as some others might okay well i'll have you make a survival role to get the information that you're you're looking for uh but i think the person who would know the most would be melvin uh, because it's just the four of you in the room right now yeah uh, so what when she asked that question what would melvin share well uh he would actually tell you that about like people being like you know it's 39 people are already rounded up like people are being rounded up i and you he will tell you that oh i i'm back because the us won't take in any refugees of these people fleeing a tyrannical government because of you know the birth the same birth that i have to be specific so that's just not how things should run i think and uh so i just came back to try to get people to let all these nice folks in because i'll tell you what they just turned the boat around with a lot of people on it. And, uh, well, let's just say I knew some of those people, and I don't think things are going to go very well for them. It's not the first time. Uh, they've been... Yeah, this country's had its own refugees. They're always treated bad. But, um, yeah, but I agree. To turn them back into the, the thresher, it's unconscionable. Yeah. All so, right. just want to get them before they get us, you know? Um... Yeah, no, it sounds like something I can, uh, I can get into, sure. All right, so if you want to make a survival roll, you would pair that with uh, an appropriate attribute. Sell me on whatever you'd like to... Sure, uh, I'll go for survival and cunning. Sounds good. Okay. Are we running off the seven or eight? Uh, it's eight for... Eight. Okay, got it. Oh, and as he was talking about that, he doesn't notice it, but you all do. There is a slight, like, un- right under the skin at his temples. There's a small bit of, like, radiance, like, under the skin, but it wouldn't be, he doesn't seem to note. Got it. Uh, three. Three successes. Uh, okay, so, yeah, you're looking at specifically geographic information. Um, uh, the core clue that you get um You identify a small airstrip um, that would probably be the best place to get ingress into. Um, it's not, from what you can tell and what, what Jackson's pointed out, this whatever the secondary place, it is deep off grid. Uh, but you identify an airstrip that you can get a small plane into that will get you in the neighborhood of it. Uh, and you will have two additional clues to, uh, and we'll, we'll start with asking questions. Uh, yeah. Mm. What is the, uh, the supply or, like, what are we going to look at having to bring with us? Um, there's definitely going to be some heavy woods travel. Um, um, because, like I said, it's, it's, it's off-grid, um, and they probably have what few roads there are monitored, uh, and patrolled. Um, because there's so few roads, they can easily control them. So you're going to need to have supplies to go through the woods. Um, dealing with, uh, you're going to be dealing with big, big time machinery. So probably some explosives to, to destroy it, to destroy it. Um, you know, 
weapons for your own own defense and offense. Uh, and um, yeah. I, I do express that I can pretty much make a bomb out of anything, anytime, anywhere, as long as something can, can, that is ignitable is put in my hands. Since you bring it up, it might be a good time to discuss what our own capabilities are, so we know what we have. I saw that happen with a sawmill once. Um, uh, second, yeah. second clue real quick. Uh, if they bolt, what's the best road? Um... Looking at like this, the, the, the area, like I said, there are very few roads. Um, mm -hmm. So you, you kind of think to yourself, if they bolt, they... If you were setting up an evil base in the woods, <laughs> um, you like where this area is, there's not a very good escape path mm -hmm. other than like straight through the woods okay. so you th you, you kind of think and like based on some of the, the 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 information that's also on the table with the mechanatrix and things you think that she she specifically might have a bit more advanced method of getting away up not out mm -hmm. Goodness. Okay. uh and what about emma what would emma be up to I was helping out. Oh, yeah, you're helping with that. Uh, so, yeah, so I believe Jackson mentioned uh, yep. everyone's uh, kind of yep. getting everyone's capabilities on the table. That seems like a good idea. Yeah. So, uh, Mr. Cohen, you've said you will have a good yeah, at destroying uh, things. And... Uh, yeah, I'm, I've got a few years of demolitions training under my belt. I did it in the, during the Great War. And uh, I also worked uh, as a code breaker for during the war, also, and a little bit after. So, you know, if you need. You need a lot of math done. Oh, also this. And I just throw, uh, like, I just throw, like, a coin and ricochet it into, like, a shot glass on, like, behind me. It's like, that happened after the Taloric exposure. I don't really understand it very well. I just see, it's all angles. I don't know. <laughs> How about you, Ms. Um... Oh, Kowalski. Emma Kowalski. Uh, yeah, um... I got that sight beyond sight. Everybody loves so much. Uh, well, that, that the woo, yeah, that thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing with um, us. It, it's pretty good at like sussing out things, and I was using a bit of it to figure out which of the papers would be best for you. But um, yeah, that's pretty much what I do. I know a lot of people. I'm quite sweet. Um, <laughs> I've been told I'm charming, and uh, yeah, if you, if you get so, really messed up, I can put you back together, no problem. Oh, my turn? If you don't mind. Right. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, I'm Beth. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm just good in places where there aren't people. I can do where people are too, but um, I'm better off at figuring out um, the where they don't want the people. <laughs> well, as a, uh, as a dedicated so. city boy, I'm real happy you're here. <laughs> Uh, currently, Second that. the, the Aeon Society sends me out to uh, some interesting places. Right now I've been jungles and, you know, frozen. But, uh, yeah, otherwise I'm just with the park services, you know, for my sins slash crimes. That's uh, nice. It's quiet. But uh, you all seem like good company. We can get, uh, get some good done, I guess. Can't uh, wait for camping. I will note, in, in terms of your equipment, it is a brutal winter. Like, <laughs> okay. it is very cold. Uh, uh, it is, yeah, I imagine Pennsylvania around Bay. Oh, my God. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yeah. It's, uh, it's not going to be as bad as the Alaska territories, but, you know, it's going to be bad. Berlin has such nice weather. Okay, uh. got it. What about you, sir? Oh. Yeah, Jackson uh, Barden. Um... Private eye. I'm just good at uh, watching people and what they do. Hmm. Not quite as fancy as what y'all have got going on, but uh, I'm sure we'll all be able to work together. Hmm. Yeah. So it sounds like uh, we're leaving soon. As soon as we can get whatever gear uh, transport that uh, Mr. Mercy's got in mind. So, any of y'all ever done... Uh, What's like this before? Nope. Nope. Never. Nope. Mm -hmm. You're not going to need the tie, that's for sure. 
Yeah, I had a feeling there was going to be a little bit of an outfit change. Yeah. This is my potty vest. What's the closest airport? Oh, um, it's not really an airport. It's a landing strip right about here. Oh. Yeah, it's someplace they can touch down and then leave again, but trust me, there's not going to be a lounge or anything. They're going to yeah. notice us landing, aren't they? Uh, I, I, thought, I, I, thought I, I will. I will say the the point that you have identified it is like it is not the same as the landing strip landing strip that is in the photos. That's, that's a bit okay. more. That's a bit, bit more. It has. This is literally like a strip of land yes. with a, with an air, with a tower <laughs> out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Yeah. She was like some barnstormers like, were there like two board. years ago or yeah. something. Right, I gotcha. Yeah. So I figure. I mean, I guess. So. I mean, the most prudent plan would probably be to go to the nearest. You know, tr- fly to the nearest. Population center, drive as close as we can without getting noticed, and then I guess take the foot, right? Like, yeah, it looks like, and I point to the city, the kind of the, the small towns that they're uh, they're going to be somewhere in this area. That's where the uh, that's where they've been seeing some uh, people moving moving heavy equipment and stuff into the woods. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, at a certain point, roads are going to be useless to us. Yeah, we better if they're then, if, weirdly if they're rocking or messing around with the. The big tech, like the stuff that we've been seeing in these reports, we got to be real quiet it's because good. if one shot from this, I don't. Yeah, it's real messy. Clarification: mm-hmm. You said this is in upstate New York. It is up more, or, more or, in Pennsylvania, well, Pennsylvania, New York. Yeah, yeah Pennsyl- okay. it's Pennsylvania. New- Their main camp is like very close to the Pennsylvania New York border. This is a bit more north into Pennsylvania. Okay. Dang it. Lots of valleys. I was going to say, upstate New York, notorious for having little enclaves of uh, uh, re- different religious sects. So. I mean, Pennsylvania too. Yes, the, 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 the term yeah. Pennsylvania Dutch exists. No, no, but uh, more of the occultist side. Ah, uh, yeah, fair. So I wasn't sure if there were any uh, theosophy outlets there. I know that they had one in upstate way back when. Right. But, yeah, there, it's it's a... It's a de- densely forested area, lots of little nooks and crannies everywhere. But yeah, so um, as you guys are wrapping up, one of the society's attendants comes in uh, to kind of let you know what rooms are available to you. And he also says, uh, I can take a list of any equipment that you'd like to requisition uh, so we can get that started while you guys are resting and preparing. Uh, so if uh, he kind of like, he hands, he hands uh, puts a clipboard out for someone to start filling out. <laughs> and I take it and hand it immediately uh, yeah. back. Sure. <laughs> I think you're. Uh... I got a few things I want to add on there. Probably more raw material, so we're not cat. You know. Good shoes. Yeah. Good shoes. I, definitely. Can you actually fight? Um. Kind of. Yeah. I got I pull out two shoulder, double shoulder holster on. I don't yeah, I mean, I've usually. Got a few scrapes. I don't usually carry a weapon, but I don't miss often. Got it. I, I got a hat pin. I'll I'll flat out warn you. I can't do any of that. Uh, I can do sharp objects. Um, oh, and which, I can also... again, works for stealth. Oh, also, I can probably hurl that desk. Like, I point at Max, Max, like, the desk, and it's like, mm. I can probably hurl that desk about as far as I can hurl a knife, so... So you're going to be carrying most of the stuff. You volunteered! How nice! Sounds great. <laughs> it's, it's... I'll be a pack. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, yeah, let's, uh, let's get this thing put together, and then... Get some rest. <coughs> I figure we don't want to go through like the the real nitty gritty <coughs> inventory management Shopping stuff. Episode. Yeah, no, we're not going yeah. to. Do that. <laughs> but, but if there's anything like, if there's anything that you know might raise a question, you might want to mention it now. Other than standard, like you know, gear, like clothing, gear, things that you can assume that you have. Clothing, but you know, anything camera, like, binoculars, that yeah, kind of stuff. Anything a uh, 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 little, little while that might make my eyebrow rise, mm-hmm. uh, you can mention it, and that will increase the likelihood that you will actually. No, nope, just some pipes and gunpowder. Don't worry about me. <laughs> a good old ritual dagger, and that's about it. Okay, okay. wouldn't be a bad idea, but toting it's a hassle. A couple things of kerosene. She's got her own knife, but we'll also like include the. You know, bag of dog treats. Yeah, good idea in case you run into any uh, good boys out there. I mean, lots of animals will will eat those things. It's very helpful for wildlife of all kinds. Yeah, I don't want to have any weird up up fronts with a raccoon that I wasn't prepared for. Yeah, basic first aid kit. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Fronts with a raccoon. Yeah. 
All right, so you guys are, uh, you can find your beds fairly easily. They're very nice. You know, the, the browns, this is a very large brownstone, and it's like subdivided, and, and it's been converted into a headquarters, but there are still small rooms available. Uh, and you guys are all able to get a good night's sleep, sleep off whatever after effects mm -hmm. of the party uh, that you, you may be suffering from. Uh, and I, I actually want to lean on a path contact if... Sure thing. If... I actually have as part of my uh, a gossip column mm -hmm. columnist in, for in New York as a uh, as one of my path contacts, and I figure if there's someone who's telling gossip about like I don't know rich people funneling money to Nazis or something, she might have heard about it. Okay, yeah. So um, I'll leave a message because I know it's like middle of the night and yeah. stuff, but I'll leave a message for. Her. Yeah, um, I mean. Yeah, I mean, well, keep in mind, this is 19, 1939. There's no such thing as answering machines, but, oh, you, but she can have an answering a, a messaging service. That's probably. what I meant. Like, more yeah. like if she has a messaging service, which yeah. I'm assuming she does. Well, let's like go a... ahead and make a path roll for that. Actually, what is the path roll? So, path roll is you're going to be rating your your path rating uh -huh. in, in the path that that contact comes from. Sure. Plus an attribute that you think would be appropriate. Um uh, and since it tends to be a sm such a small dice pool, I tend to treat successes exponentially. Gotcha. Just so, so it's not. But yeah, this would be a path roll to try and get get something out of your contact. I'm gonna guess this would. This seems like a cunning thing. Like I don't know, because yeah, I mean, I would say cun cunning would be appropriate. Like to ask the right questions. Yeah, just asking the right questions and ask it in the right way, where I'm not like blowing my cover here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And also getting it in one sentence or two sentences in a way that doesn't, yeah. Yeah. So here, here we do. The FBI is not going to notice. Oof. Uh -oh. <laughs> Gotta work. That's a that's a no successor right there. No success. All right. So uh, they're just yeah. The, the, you you call up. You the phone keeps ringing and ringing and ringing, and eventually you get the 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 message from the operator. Uh, that uh, we are un unable to make this connection. Huh. But you guys get a momentum out of that. That's fine. Uh, okay, so, yeah, does anyone else have anything that they want to try and uh, get before morning comes? No. Reach out to any paths since you guys are going out into the out into the shit? I have a travel agent, but I don't think we need one. No. We have the best one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I don't think any of my holds buddy. Uh, I mean, you can try. You can make a path roll to get in contact with them and uh, uh, see if there's any information that they can. Oh, weird. Yeah, I mean, if there's anyone like who might feel something's off, like I don't know. Cool. Yeah, I mean, it's worth yeah. a shot. Okay, what was that roll again? I'm it's sorry. It's gonna be your path rating for that contact. Uh, which yeah, it's all good. Yeah, it's all, it's all ones one. right now. Uh, plus an, an appropriate attribute. Okay, let's see. I'd love to use resolve, but that's not going to happen. Cunning? Cunning would work. Like a, I'll like, take that. Uh, so, yeah, go ahead and make a... Five dice. Yeah. I swear on first break, I'll get my own out. No worries. All right, I see one. Two. Two. Nice. Give me one already. Six or nine. I can't tell. Where's your other one so I can compare? Dang it! Okay, I'm just going to say two. It's a, yeah, it's it's a hundred. Uh, okay, cool. damn it. All right, so how many successes total? Two. Two, two, two successes. Two. Okay, excellent. So as you are, you are like, um, uh, you know, feeling a little, like, feeling into things out with your own sight. Uh, and as you are sort of uh, putting away your implements, there's a knock on your door. Uh, and one of the attendants comes and says, ma'am, we've had a telegram. Uh, and uh, it uh, uh, it comes in. This is uh, and this is, it, you recognize one of your your contacts from uh, the Theosoph Theosophic Society, um, and it's um, uh, it is a simple and short message. It says, "Beware the egg." Ooh, I can meditate on this for a bit. <laughs> but thank you, thank you so much. Be a, a good thing. Put some in my pillow. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, anything else? Anyone else want to reach out to anybody? Mm -hmm. uh, I wrote a letter to my landlord to let her know that uh, 
to put a close my clothes sign up on my office and water my plants. Gotcha. You get a <laughs> message out there. That's fine. It'll be, it'll be yeah. easy enough. Uh, all right. So uh, you guys get some get some rest uh, fairly early in the morning. Uh, they, you know, you are, are uh, uh, informed that breakfast is ready and that a car uh, will be arriving shortly to take you to a local airstrip. Uh, you know, uh, you have you inform them of where you're going, so uh, the arrangements for that have been made. Um, so yeah, so you guys can grab a, a quick hearty breakfast. The equip most of the equipment that you guys have requested uh, is made available to you. Uh, Do we have eggs for breakfast? There are eggs available for breakfast. Beware the egg. You know, I got the worst food poisoning of my life from eggs once. But what is that? But I need I, you to explain that because but, I'm going to eat as much of this. As no, I no, I feel like we could probably eat these eggs. Just there was a one of my friends sent me a, a note just to beware of the egg. This is this another one of you? Ooh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I am just never going to get used to that, I don't think. I mean, it's really hard sometimes to tell the difference between people who are actually wom, 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 and people who are just like doing it for a buck. Oh man, I could go off on spiritualism. Do we have time? We probably don't have time for that. We have. I would a love whole to listen plane. to you on the plane. Yes. Excellent. I, I mean, engines are loud, but I'm here for it. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. <laughs> Beth is enthusiastic about food and whatever yeah, you, know, Mel, you can get away with. Mel, Melvin is just shoveling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So you guys are able to fill your bellies uh, with hearty food that the society provides, well cooked. Uh, and you know there are uh, several packs, and like you, you uh, most of things are already loaded up into the truck uh, that is uh, getting ready to take you out into uh, one of the local airstrips, uh, and. Unless there's anything else anyone wants to accomplish you know, while you're in Chicago. No, I don't think so. All right. For adventure. Indeed. So, yeah, you are driven out to a local air, airfield uh, where there is a, uh, eh, you know, a commuter plane, basically, uh, that has some, uh, some room for storage as well as people. Uh, and a associate, an, a pilot associated with the Aeon Society, who's willing to take a quick trip. You know, it's it's not too terribly far away, all things considered, but it's at least a good couple hours flight. Um, so you'll probably get there mid afternoon. Uh, this guy can, you know, you, it looks a little ratty, but like you can you can definitely tell this has got some. This, there, there's been some tinkering done to this particular. She'll fly. Yeah. She'll fly good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so you guys hop on, uh, and uh, you know we we zoom out to a map uh, where where <laughs> yeah the nice red line starts to go in. You're the legally distinct John Williams score. Yeah, yes. exactly the legally <laughs> John Williams score. Uh, we see images of snow-covered American fields. <laughs> Uh, you know, the, we have a, hear, hear a clip of the radio about, uh, you know, debate in the in Congress uh, about the America First part, well, America First movement, uh, you know, talking, talking about the idiocy of American involvement uh, and uh, how we can learn from uh, from our friends in, in the Nazi regime. So this all started with these Fox sisters, see? They decided they were going to get one over on their mom and had this little knocking thing and convinced everybody in the damn town about <laughs> Over the, the guttering, like, you know, terrible engine noise. Oh, I can't believe I gave them money. <laughs> that is... Uh, yeah. But eventually, like I said, it gets to be about mid-afternoon and this, the, the plane uh, touches down in what is... Barely considered an airstrip. Um, there's like one guy in a tower uh, that like like you you hear him call call down, and then when you guys touch down, he like climbs down from the tower uh, to like deal with the paperwork. It is just it is basically a field. Uh, it is a field on near the wood line. Uh, there is like dirt roads leading out to and from it, uh, and it, yeah, there's like a single tank. Uh, for for refueling, uh, it is just a whole lot of nothing. Um, uh, and this is uh, your pilot uh, says to you, "Is like, well, I don't know uh, what you guys are headed into." Uh, the uh, higher up said that this was kind of a hush hush kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, I'll be around. 
Uh, and I've got my uh, radio, and he kind of hands you like a handheld radio. This this is a pretty secure, uh, you know, it's got a little little tinkering. If you guys need some need a need a quick exit, and you know, I can I can land on anything pretty much, but if you need it, uh, glad and to know you're here. Y'all should have some flares for that, but you know, just in case, I'm sure you guys can handle yourselves. Yeah, um, we have to leave eventually. If there is some sort of emergency, um. Keep an eye out, because I think you might not be alone up there. Ah, good to know. All right, well, it's it's not been my first rodeo. Yeah, uh, sure. Anyway, all right, well, I'm going to refuel, um, and, uh, there, like, there is, like, a truck, a, a similar truck that can carry all your stuff here uh, that has been arranged for your use, uh, so you can guys can, can at least get a little bit closer to where you, got, you think you need to get into the woods. All right, some car camping. Yeah. Um, it is threadbare and real, real rustic out here. All right. So I guess we'll go about unloading all the stuff. I mean, I, in terms of, like, there isn't exactly much tactical equipment Yeah. now. I mean, it's mostly get gun, get knife, get parka. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Not to mention, again, if just carrying all this stuff is... At a certain point, going to be a hindrance. You got to be ready to to use what you can find. It's just a matter of it. So, is the plan to drive as close as we can, set up, leave the truck as a kind of base base camp, and hike in from there with what we have on our backs? Uh, I'd say. I mean, yeah, that's the the basic shape. But I'd say we got to stop at least before the the actual town, because they are clearly. You said there's reports of them in the town being seen loading stuff. Hunters. So they're going to spot a, a vehicle. Yeah. yeah, people noticed, well, yeah, weird the, hunters. Also, if this is a small town, we are going to stick out like sore thumbs. Oh, yeah. Much like the other guys. Yep. And probably the spooks. I don't really have any clever ideas on what our cover story could be, so. Oh, no, not this group. <laughs> Look at us. Yeah, we're pretty good I'll, us. I'll have you know, I can sneak around pretty well. Glad you can. Oh, absolutely. It's more of a, if we were to go, say, book some hotel rooms, what would we say we were in town for? Nah, I think this is a, uh, we're going to have to rough it. Yeah, absolutely. You'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, I look forward to learn. I lo you know, I haven't done this since, uh, then. Anyway. That sounds like a story for some night. It was yeah, called it. The Great War, you hear of it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it might have hit a little bit. The whole thing sucked. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, um... You, you served, huh? Yeah, I was... Well, we can talk about that another time. Yeah. Oh, we'll save that for the campfire. Well, one campfire. Ooh, campfire <laughs> stories. <laughs> mm. I uh, promised by the firelight. <laughs> I like yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, I will say, you think, uh, looking at the equipment that you have, you you think this is... You, this is as good a place of any to try and put some stuff together. Um, you know, you, you're not going to have a, like, there, there's, like, a rickety building with, like, a bench that, right. you know, and you're not, you don't know if you're going to run into I'm that. Gonna, I'll just assemble a number of pipe bombs. Okay. All right. Do you have any, uh, anything that, we, we can make a roll, but do you have anything that would enhance that? I, I mean, I have demolitions training, so let me see what all three levels of that does for me, because I think the second level lets me make bigger explosions. Yeah, absolutely. Look up your mechanics on that. Uh, is anyone going to be doing anything here at the airstrip, preparatory or otherwise? If we're hanging out, I'm actually going to talk to the, uh, the tower guy. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, he's, uh... Uh, he's, he's, he uh, approaches. You, you flag him down. Uh, he approaches, and he says, "How how you how you doing?" I'll have a cigarette. Good, good sir. Oh, oh, oh blessings to you. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. Oh man, how what in what in the name of God are you doing out here out in the middle of nowhere? I mean, I I know why I'm out here. Why but I was going to ask you the same question, but. Uh, just, and yeah. he just kind of like gets a gets like a thousand yard stare, like what? I mean, oh, well, they we're just here for some winter time camping and hunting. But uh, just oh. wondering how many other folks you see out here this time of year. If there's anybody we should be watching out for in the woods or anything like that. Oh, there's all a matter of matter of woodsmen and and uh, wanderers out uh, in this place. Uh, you know, there's been some. Uh, 
interesting sightings. Uh, I don't know, though. What, like Sasquatch or something? Kind of narrows his eyes. <laughs> what do you know, what, Squatch? Yeah, what do you know about the Bigfoot? You guys as well. Mm -hmm. Have you seen them? Oh, oh, have I seen them? Oh, yes, I have seen them. Let me tell you the tale of when I lost my... And he, like, he, like, pulls off a glove and you see, like, two fingers <laughs> missing. I had to wrestle the big bastard and he took a big bite out of my hand. That's terrifying. How long ago was that? He kind of, he kind of like, he, he looks on his hand, starts to count on his fingers, goes to the other hand. Oh, now, Dob, down about, about four years ago. <laughs> Did you, uh, do you know kind of which direction it was that they, that you, that you encountered him? He says, oh, yeah, yeah. It was down around, uh, around those woods there. He just kind of, like, vaguely motions into the woods. Um, uh. Beth leans into him, and it's like, they, they put people, like, in the meat out. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I just keep, you know, when I'm bringing me on to other people, I just keep uh, asking them questions about Bigfoot and try to pay attention to, uh, Stories that maybe, uh, oh, there's a weird thing that maybe might be worth uh, like, taking note give, of. Give me an empathy roll. Sure thing. How many bombs can I create? Um, with like with the materials that you have, yes. Uh, I would say depending on your roll, upwards of 10. All right, well, let's see what the roll is, and then I'll decide how to distribute them because I can change some of their I can individually make sure. them a little better in different ways and some of them will be better for some of the things we're going to be doing than others. Uh, what attribute are you pairing with this? Me? I was going to do manipulation because I'm uh that works purposefully you know yeah, manipulating yeah, him into telling me stuff he doesn't mean to. You could maybe pick up a camera in town. All right. Depending. Yeah. I think we oh, got a camera, right? That was on our list. Yeah, I got, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh they got it. Okay. okay. You have a camera. Uh I got two successes. Two successes. This guy is, you think that there's probably a lot wrong with this guy in terms of, like, fantasy and reality. Yeah. Um, but, like, he he seems to be real convinced of the fact that he, he had some sort of encounter uh, out in the woods uh, with, with something. Uh, you know, it could be a bear that he's talking about, uh, but he he's... Very convinced that it was the old skunk ape. Um, They're pterodactyls, so why not? Uh, but he's you. You can't. You can't. You have to take everything this guy says with a grain of salt. Yeah. He is like clearly uh, like actively and actively drunk and and just very lonely and wants to tell wants to tell stories. So take it with what you will. Mm -hmm. I don't know. In that case, while we're while we're here, so they don't have anything else to do, I just uh, hang out with them and spin some yarns. I basically make that we're like we are uh, cryptid hunters, okay. and just like tell some crazy stories about you know hunting pterodactyls and never quite seeing, you know, hearing the flap of their wings, but never quite seeing. Uh, yeah, he uh, he he eats that all in. Uh, he's he's quite willing to believe uh, all manner of bullshit. So I think I'm going to try composure. Okay. Uh, it's composure technology for making bombs mm -hmm. because you know you know what you really want to be when you're making ten pipe bombs. Zen. Calm. Yeah, yeah. you be calm. <laughs> Keep that heart rate low. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Okay. So, I think I'm going to spend inspiration. Ah. Up my skill on this one? Or yeah. yeah, you can do, do extraordinary that. effort with that. Yeah, I'll do extraordinary effort because I rolled very badly. So, okay. time to... Make up for oh, <laughs> oh, is it getting better? Okay, so it was start power. Uh, rolled two successes and mm -hmm. then up my scale mm -hmm. with inspiration. Okay, so two successes with scale. Um, yeah, you're you're able to mm, you're able to put together eight bombs. Cool. Um, uh, and you know you do with do with do with your mechanics whatever that does with that. Sure. Actually, would an additional plus one have changed that number at all? Nah. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. I did have that one remaining enhancement, and since I knew what I was blowing up, but I mean, if you, yeah, and that, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's more for like investigatory stuff. Understood. Um, rather than putting shit together. Uh, okay. Anyone else doing anything yet this year? Podunk airstrip. Just going over inventory and chatting up him. 
I'm going to lean into that story about being encrypted. Yeah, they're just absolutely fascinating what kind of weird mutations you can find out here. <laughs> absolutely. So, yeah, uh, a couple of hours go by. It's getting getting to evening time, and it is the winter, uh, so it gets dark pretty quick out here. Um, so, yeah, you think that you probably should head out uh, and get at least a cup, an hour or so of daylight uh, before you hit the, the your ingress point that you've identified. Uh, so you're able to load everything up into the small truck, uh, load yourselves up into it. It's a tight fit. It is not the biggest truck. Uh, but yeah, you guys are able to make your way down the dirt roads, uh, do a little creative navigations when the maps don't exactly line up uh, until you finally get to a point near the, near, near the roadside where you think you can stash the car and start making your way deeper into the woods. So, what is your overall strategy? How are you? How are you? Uh, I mean, uh, you know who I'm talking to here. Uh, yeah. What's what's the what's the strategy for braving these very dense, very like snow covered and packed woods? Huh. Uh, well, I was about to say between the uh, the skill trick versus wild mm -hmm. and uh, the gift wilderness guide, um, Beth immediately just starts. Like all of you see that for a woman with one eye, she seems to, to have a really good sense for um, where the brush is going to lighten, um, you know, has a has a knife that she will cut through and bushwhack if necessary. Um, but it's it's very much the idea of, you know, she'll confer with everyone, are we headed towards the town or are we headed around the town? Like, do you want to talk to people in there or do you just want to skip it? There's, around. There's, we should oh, probably skip it. There's nothing good for us in town. We're just going to stick out. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, the, the whole okay. plan is to yeah, there, turn there, around. Yeah, you, you, you do see, you, in your looking, you did see there was a town nearby, the area that you're talking to. You don't think that that's, like, the place where everything is because everything, all your intelligence says that there's a secondary compound, like a place right. out in the woods, but there is a town nearby. So you are avoiding the town and just, yeah, going through. So you are going through pure brush. Yeah. Like there's there maybe there are like like animal trails, maybe hunters trails out there, but that's about it in terms mm -hmm. of paths through the woods. And even if there were paths, we're probably trying to avoid them since we believe <laughs> Jackson would be like, well, if there's anything easy, they're gonna have, they're gonna have eyes on it. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, that's the spirit. So uh, the question I have is, how late into the night do you go? I think she's gonna try and like see what the endurance rate of people who are not used to this um but also will kind of shove like okay if we can get an extra hour in it'll help okay uh so you're 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 pushing these people excellent so i'm going to need uh a group survival role uh from uh basically everyone but beth uh, because Beth has got all this, she, she, Beth can hit, Beth can handle this basically on her own, uh, this aspect of it. But you've got some city city people. I have the one job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Survival resolve. Sure. Yeah, you can make a result. Use a resolve. Yay! Uh, by the way, uh, since the wilderness guide. As long as your character is guiding them, others traveling with her use her dice pool for survival activities. Oh, shit! Oh, no. oh, wow. so, so, everybody use for survival, please. Woo! <laughs> I won't die Bless immediately. You. No problem. I wasn't ready for all the nature. If nature's. you go off on your own, you no longer receive the benefits of this that gift. That is so Oh, oh absolutely not. Holy crap. Oh, thank goodness. Bless you. All right, that's a seven. You don't count. That's a one. I get to re-roll all these tens. Oh, boy. Well, I'm glad. I only got one success. Now I got two on the ten. Look at you. Three, four. Six. Okay. Alrighty. So, Emma's keeping up with you. Yeah. Like, she <laughs> is She is just trucking right along. Appreciate uh, that. Uh, you know, it's Melvin, nice. you're you're carrying a lot. Most of I'm like, carrying a lot of stuff. Yeah. So, but, but you're still. So it is it is perhaps surprising that Jackson is the one that is kind of 
dragging behind the group a little bit, uh, running into bush, uh, to branches every now and then. Um, He's here like, fucking me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, it, it's six it's like it's it feels the same table. way about you. I can tell. I was like, yeah, <laughs> there's like brand of sticks in my like my hat's askew, and there's sticks in his hair. Like, so you go till about eleven o'clock in the night before it just seems imprudent. You you basically make the call. Yeah. It's imprudent to go any quick, go, go any further. Yeah. Um, if we walk anymore, I'm going to die. <laughs> uh, so we'll find a camp. We'll find yeah. A camp. Um, so, yes, so, uh, what are your preparations for camping for the evening? Like, how are you, like, what, and, or anybody else, because you guys are out in the middle of what's probably enemy, enemy territory, uh, and you're making a camp, so what, if any, precautions are you taking while you set up camp? Well, I don't want to, I can set us up some, some, uh, some snares. I know, I remember some basic snares and stuff. I don't want to, you know, do anything too lethal in case some rando walks into it. It'd probably be a good idea for us to take shifts, watch and watch. Yeah. You, you want trip lines? I, got, I can do trip lines. Noisy trip lines are not a bad idea. Uh, yeah. I mean, a wayward there's... raccoon might wake us up, but that's better than the alternative. If they have any sense I mean, at all, they're inside. They're, they're, they're hiding. Okay. If, if those snares catch an animal, then we have found breakfast. I mean, you guys have rations, like you have. Yeah, she would still say that. Yeah. <laughs> um, I stand by that. All right. Yep. Uh, so if you start some, some trip lines, um, I would say a larceny roll. Sure. Would you like help with that? Absolutely, I would. Sure. This is what I'm good at. I'm just going to consult my cards so you guys do that. I mean, I'm doing this off of raw brain, like raw memory of like mm -hmm. how to do this. So is intellect fine or should Yeah, I intellect's fine. Okay. You did a good job. Oh my god. Wow, that's a that's a womp. Reminded me on the oh, compound. No. There was just nothing but wilderness around. I got one success, but I don't it I think we just, I don't think they were very good. Yeah, you you are good at like like urban environments. I'm like, I'm not used to anchoring things in yeah. this environment and my hands are not used to working through thick gloves. Yeah. So you guys spend like a good 20 minutes and, doing your level best. And, and Mel comes back with like one of the trip lines, like the steel line snapped and like rip, whipped him in the face. And it's like, I'm done. I can't. Oh. I'm, I'm, I. <laughs> we'll just take it. Let's keep a watch. It's fine. Just pack some snow on it. Yeah, no, no, no. You don't know where that snow has been. Here. Oh, right yeah. Here. I don't know if he grabbed yellow snow. Me, Did you? Where? What? <laughs> just, just come here. Come here. I have antiseptic and a band aid. Yes, ma'am. All right. So, you, yeah, you treat the wound pretty easily. Um, uh, and you guys are able to set up. There's some, some survival tents that you guys have, uh, you know, military, mostly army issue um, that you guys can set up. Doesn't look like you have that great of a security system. Um, but. So you mentioned you guys were going to be sleeping in ships. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, so going to try and like camouflage the site as best as possible. Okay. So what I want to know is Probably what no fire, uh, order are the shifts? I mean, you can do a fire. You just got to go first. Put the, the branch. Okay. So you'll take first shift. Fire. Who yeah. takes second shift? Dang. Okay. Who takes third shift? I'll take third shift. All right. And so you'll you'll be waking up last. Okay. Great. So I need you to give me a roll. Okay. Uh, Emma, on your shift. So you guys have you guys have each done your shift. Uh, on your shift, I need you to make me an aim cunning roll. Oh gosh! All right, one of those is decent in. Not aim. Uh, everything else? No, everything else is for like Sinclair's comment. Okay, no problem. I can do this. You have to. Oh! I got one. One success? Okay. You hear things out in the, uh, out in the distance. Um, like, there's there are sounds going on. You're not... You're not sure what they are, um, because they're very distant, and the snow is muffling a lot of things, but, like... You you like you just know something is going on out there. Um, you're not 
entirely sure, but it's like not it's not close, but there's something happening out there in the night. I'm just gonna go up to Beth and go. I, I think I hear something. I'm not quite sure what I'm hearing, though. But it's really hard to tell, and I figured you'd probably be the best one. Because Beth sits up and, like, doesn't have her patch or anything, and you just see, like, the, the white of one eye. And she just starts listening intently, trying to, to hear what Emma's catching. Um, yeah, go ahead and uh, give me uh, an, an aim cunning roll, please. Mm. Uh, and the two of you, uh, if you guys would like to roll me, let's see what would be good for this, um, for, for how light, how light you're sleeping. Um, so that you guys have the opportunity to maybe do a thing. Uh, yeah, give me just composure rolls. So, uh, two questions. Mm -hmm. Would danger sense apply? No. Two successes. Okay. Uh, two successes. Okay. Uh, you definitely hear the, the, the sounds as well. Um, you actually hear, you, you, you think you hear, like, you can't make out, like, what the majority of the sounds are. Uh, because, like I said, it's very d muffled, and the so the snow is just eating sound. Mm -hmm. But you think you hear an animal sound, like a roar. Uh, it's sort of interspersed with it. Um, how much success did you get? Zero. Okay, two. Okay, you give me a uh, you uh, you you hear mostly them, uh, but give me an aim cunning roll, please. Okay. Yeah, you wake up, you hear them talking, and you, like, uh, you you hear something off in the distance, and it's literally like, you you hear it and recognize it basically as soon in the moment that it stops. There are gunshots, like rifle shots. Hunters. Nothing <clears throat> that probably wakes me up. Oh uh, yeah, when he when, when gunshots. Yeah. Well, you like Holds your little dagger. It, so it's very far off. Oh, okay. The sound is weird. Gotcha. Only he recognizes that they are gunshots. I, okay. Um, sure. And little, they literally stop the moment. So you haven't woken up yet yep. to hear that. Nope. So it's not an animal. There's some sort of uh, okay. either terror because she hasn't heard the gunshots. Mm -hmm. uh, it's some sort of territorial or something. It's fighting. It's angry. I, I poke my head out. Okay. They just shot at whatever it was and poke my head back in. <laughs> So there's people involved. Oh, my little dagger. Yeah, and I just, you see a, because he's fucking cold. And you just see yeah. one hand pointing in the general <laughs> direction of what happened. I'm trying to maintain heat. <laughs> just, okay, all right. I'll, I'll keep an eye out. Yes. Yeah. Go back to sleep. Sorry, I just wasn't. Sure. I mean, should, I mean, we're going to go investigate, but it's going to be rough going. Yeah, and honestly, depending on the animal, they might be field dressing it right now, which means they'll still be in that one spot for probably an hour. What time? Is it? Like, and she just pauses and looks like it is like they are four thirty in the morning, they are hunting in the dead of night. That's weird. Something about this is weird. Why would somebody do that? Like, is it, like, usually dusk or, like, dawn at a time? Mm-hmm. What's all this racket? Oh, sorry, Hunter. Sorry. Uh, someone, uh, someone was popping shots off in the... Do you uh... want me to go check? I can go check. Yeah, I really do. I really okay. do want you to go you check. You'll stay here. And, like, Beth will, like, grab what another of, like, ubiquitous sweaters <laughs> and head off into the snow. Her lean-to is mostly sweater. <laughs> All right, uh, give me a survival roll to try and track this down. Yep. Okay, so two. 
uh, I'll go ahead and uh, shove with inspiration. Okay. Uh, to um, increase scale. Okay, great. Uh, so yeah, you start moving in that direction. You move. You're moving pretty swiftly and quietly. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and you um, start to sort of track down, triangulate. Um, uh, you hear, start to hear things. Uh, you hear movement through the through the through, through the brush. Not like. It's not coming at you, but you you feel it like you hear um, something making its way through the brush on a on a kind of like a parallel track uh, to you, um, uh, and off in the distance you hear um, voices, a few shouts, um, uh, uh, that you you're not able to make out what they're saying. Um, but yeah, you you hear something, and, and the more you listen to it, you think it's something big, like a big group of people, or no, it's just one thing making a lot of noise. Uh, I think. Um, second, the question: Has the danger sense cut off yet? Let me double check exactly what that does. <laughs> Prepared. I keep a cheat sheet. Oh yes. An idea of what to do tomorrow. Create cheat sheet. Not yet. Got it. Thanks. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, I think honestly, the whole point is knowing our situation. She's gonna try and get a closer look. She trusts her skills. Okay. Um, make me a. Larceny roll. Are you how how stealthy are you trying to be with this? Oh yeah, no, absolutely. Between, okay, so yeah, without this, a trace and so sneak. Yeah, yeah this is going to be in a, a larceny roll. Got it. To try and look at. Uh, okay, Dex plus larceny. Yep, got it. Uh, do again. Okay. So I need to make a roll real quick. You're anachronistic of device. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, you're doing it too. Uh, okay. So you are able to listen out through the woods. Uh, you kind of hear things. You, you actually hear, um, uh, you hear like the cracking of ice uh, and like then some like water sounds. Um, uh, and you sort of make your way through the woods and you see sort of at this frozen stream that has been like cracked open a massive pile of muscle and fur um, that is uh, like digging its hands into the water uh, and like and, and, and cleaning itself for lack of a better term. Um, uh, it's humanoid in shape. Uh, and, uh, you see, like, the glint of metal, uh, as you see a, um, a very odd-looking knife sticking out of its shoulder. Um, uh, and you catch it in the glimpse of, the glimpse of the moonlight, uh, you make out the sign of the swastika in the hilt of the night, knife. Um, uh, as, uh, and then you start, you start to see, smell blood, uh, in the air. Um. And it, uh, one more roll Big here. Foot. American hero. <laughs> American alien hero. Yep. He does exist. With the power of squat. Squatch. And, uh, you, you are unable to maintain a, a gasp uh, when, when you see this. And that is when its head whips around. And you see, like, very human-looking eyes in this face full of... Uh, fur and fangs look straight in your direction. And that's where we're going to take a break.
Welcome back to Simulacra Studios presents Trinity Continuum Adventure, The Undesirable. We got Squatch Sign. <laughs> we, got, we have Squatch Sign, the likes of which you've never seen. Um, so yeah, so you are in this, by this forest stream. Uh, you're tucked behind some bushes, but apparently Sasquatches can smell real good. Uh, and you have a very, very ferocious looking uh, pile of meat and fur staring right at you. What are you doing? Oh, now you're your senses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's go say heck off. Excellent. Uh, but yeah, so I think uh, we're immediately going to uh, activate the gift Don't Mess With Me. Okay. Um, which is just going to be a very intense stare. She usually uses it on animals. She's really hoping that, you know, he'll at least register this. I mean, you know. Right. Can I see the not, mechanics on that? Not without checking, like, tackle. Uh, but... Uh, but yeah, it's a plus two complication. I'm okay, assuming right, it's a big it. enough that it's a plus okay, two complication. So you're gonna yeah, you're gonna you're gonna do a spend a point of inspiration. Yep. Uh noted. Uh I've got that. Excellent. Uh, uh so yeah, you you sort of bring that bearing up. Yeah. Uh and it is silence as the two of you are just two large large but still very human looking eyes looking into your one. Uh, and it does not seem to, yeah, it is just a very still moment uh, out in the uh, out in the night. Mm -hmm. She's, again, this is new, uh, but she's going to try and do the, the gesture of, like, the thing in its back and then pulling it out. Give me an empathy roll. <laughs> You're ready to Chris Pratt this. She's, she's not good at peoples. <laughs> she's not better at animals. If this was Animal mm -hmm. Ken, I'd have this. <laughs> All right. I can at least put with composure. Sure. Mm -hmm. One. One. Uh, okay, you try and make that maneuver and... It kind of like like it it you can tell that it knows what you're talking about, mm -hmm. but it's not buying what you're selling. Cool, sure. Um, <laughs> uh, it yeah it it is um, these yeah it's still a very tense silent moment um, when once again very muted very seemingly very far away. You hear the sound of voices uh, approaching, and it it starts to whip its head around, um, uh, and you just feel that that sense of danger just creeping up and up and up as clearly its agitation level starts to rise. Since it seemed to understand the gesture, mm -hmm. she's gonna point towards where she's hearing the sounds mm -hmm. and then make a like a sweeping claw gesture and then just wait as a question um it kind of bears its fangs a little bit um and like starts to rise a bit um but then you see like as it's trying to put starting to put weight on its legs more you see like it shakes a little bit as you see like a bullet wound near its knee uh and it like just kind of seethed there for a moment i think i think beth is in a real quandary here of the like we need to she doesn't like to see anything that's in tune with nature getting, like, stomped on. Mm -hmm. And as much as she doesn't understand this thing, she it's, it's still playing to that sensibility. Mm -hmm. I feel like she's, whether it understands or not, she's going to start trying to, like, cover up the, the traces of it coming into this clearing 
Okay. And just start laying a false trail away and just... Okay. Like, if, if it's if it's not going to do one thing or another, she's going to try and help it, but it is definitely going to delay her getting back to camp. Okay. Uh, give me a survival roll for that, please. You got it. Okay, well, at the camp, Emma's just going to, like, warm up some coffee. <laughs> yeah. How long do we have to wait? Uh, I, I don't know. Okay. Um, actually, Emma, give me a raw inspiration roll, please. Okay. Just inspiration. Yeah, yeah, okay, please go. Uh, nothing. Nothing. All right, yeah, you... Yeah, it, it is a cold, quiet night. Ah. Um, Freaking sevens. It's hard. It's hard being a teacher. Uh, yeah, what uh, would... If, would anybody back at the camp be up to anything? Or is it is it just a waiting game? Uh, uh, it's mostly going to be keeping the same ears out very, as best I can to see if I don't hear... Because I'm assuming that if I'm not hearing anything, things are actually better than if I am hearing something. Right. Because yeah. um, she said she wasn't going to be heard. Yeah. Um, so if anyone here at the camp wants to give me a culture roll. Yes. Oh, I have one of those. I do have one. How much do you think that's what What's you get? What's a... Uh, with my plus, I've got five. Okay, yeah. You... Backing away from it and like as soon as it's clear, starting to clear its trail... You you a successfully do that and do not provoke any uh, any any hostile reaction from it, mm -hmm. uh, but it seems to be it, you your approximation of it is the, the whatever like adrenaline or whatever it was running off to to get here. Mm -hmm. It's probably going to be here because it is very badly wounded. Like you don't think it like you think that like the adrenaline has run out and it is. It is here for right. the time being. So uh, she's trying to lead off from it. Mm -hmm. I got uh, two successes plus an enhancement if it's about uh, blending in because I have never a stranger gift. Uh, no, it's not about blending in. However, I will say that as you guys are listening and waiting, you hear sort of like carried on the wind. Uh, you hear voices out in the woods. Um, and um, you do... You don't hear, you can't make out what it is said, but you do hear at least like one, one, one word or phrase in German. Um, well, I make sure um, the fire's out. What's There's the no word? Answer. Polyglot. Uh, well, oh, you also are we two, yeah. two polyglots? Okay, oh, right. uh, um, so annoying. Wonderful. Uh, uh, I don't know the word or it, but it is mongrel. Okay. I'm sure it sounds lovely. Yeah. Mongrel. <laughs> Um, I get real still and try to uh, suss out the direction they're in. Yeah, I mean it's it's carried by the wind, but you have a very general direction. Right. Um, is it the same way we saw Beth set off? Or yes, it is okay. a very it is in the same kind of general direction. We gotta go. Um, so as you guys yeah. are like putting it's the fire almost done anyway. Putting the fire out, gathering things. Beth comes back into the camp. <laughs> um, okay. It's so uh, there's something out there. Uh, it's just something's out there. This is interesting. Uh, so there's um, probably one of the largest, furriest men I've ever met. Um, and I only say men because it, I'm getting comprehension. Um, new for me, but uh, some, some fuckers uh, stabbed the hell out of it. Um, uh, had the swastika symbol you showed me on the knife. Uh, so... And I managed to lead them off, I think, hide where it's where it's hit, where it's injured, uh, but they're still out there and they're still looking. Oh, I, yeah, oh. I, I can hear them. They're not being actually. Yeah. They must be a little spooked because they're not being as quiet as they were. Yeah, we well, got crowd talk. They don't know we're here. Yeah, that's why we put the fire out and, cool. and are uh, you know trying to be a little more quiet. But, Do you uh, want to try and help it? Let's go the first version. Do we want to try and deal with them? Or do we want to go around? If, uh, just from basic s strategy, uh, if if they got guys going missing in the woods at night, mm -hmm. they're going to send more guys to the woods. And we're going to, now, doesn't mean we can't set up a little distraction, but we're going to need to time that out a little better than just right here, right now, I think. I also, think we need to avoid these guys. Also, if we deal with them, we have to deal with 
all of them. And can't guarantee that. Wait, so I we, think we avoid them for we now. We also don't know what they're packing. Apparently they fought a squatch. Though following them sure. might not be if you can pick up their trail, that might be might lead us straight to their lair. It is a bit of a lair, isn't it? Yeah, it felt weird saying it, but it seems accurate. Nah, it's alright. They got layers. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, I can point you where I left it. We're going to... Um, oh, I meant the it'd Germans. It'd be tricky. Oh, no, no, no I'm no, listening no. to both of you. I am. So you want to you wanna go help the injured? Yeah. Yep. Why not? Who doesn't you want to You want to follow them back. And I want to drop them down a cliff. I, I too, I want all the things you all want. Yeah. Yep. I, I would like to uh, help this... That order is fine. I'm imagining that if uh, if they stab them in the shoulder blades or in the back, and he's a large, hairy man, I'm imagining that he. I mean, he's probably not too well disposed for them. So I, if he if he can talk, we could probably convince him to help. I we, don't know we're about, pretty good. I don't know about talking, but yeah, we're, we can give it a go. Uh, we have a, we're pretty good with people as long as it's people, right? <laughs> Tell you what, I'll get you over there. And then uh, we'll see how good they are at my fake trail. And that'll give us time about how lost they are while we go deal with this. Okay, so you lead them back to the stream? Hmm? Yes. Okay. We're, um, we're broken down camp, right? Yeah, you guys, you guys have, have got the Yeah, camp. we were like quietly breaking down camp while she was away. So I just need some jerk. Yeah, so yeah, you are able to lead them uh, back around a... Um, Yet a third path to it. You, <laughs> you, you, you're starting to get very familiar with the, this at least patch of woods. So you're like, you don't want to lead them down down the, the that one trail because that'll mess up your work. Um, but you triangulate and find another way to get to that stream. Um, uh, are you? Uh, how are you approaching it, all of you? Assuming you're taking her lead, but yeah. Oh, absolutely. yeah. So how are how are you approaching it? Because you from like you don't think that it that it could reasonably move from where it was given the severity of its injuries. Um, but so how are you approaching? I think we're following up the river. Okay. Um, and that way, again, not being loud, but certainly not not trying to like. Not trying to, to startle it. Okay. Um, let's see here. Just looking over at uh, Emma, like, what do you need to make that thing you do work? Oh, I, I just, do you need to touch it? Let me check. Yeah, it's <laughs> a really important thing. It's a kind of important thing. You I, don't, might need I, to. I don't think it likes being touched. All right. What I'm going to need from everyone uh, is an empathy roll, because the most important thing here is vibes. Yeah, hell yeah. Good vibes. Good vibes for all. I'm going to try composure, because I'm stuff. spooked by the squatch. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm scared of the squatch. Uh, that's not... Oh, no. Did you watch? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. oh, yeah. Okay, so empathy ah. results. All I'm right. Determined to be cool about this. Got a, so got here, a here's about where I, I, I well, well, we might edit edit this part of the conversation mm -hmm. out. Um, they have the the upcoming update to the system includes rules wherein you can uh, spend momentum to turn a failure into a base success, um, uh, and. Um, there's just changes for, there's basically changes to the way momentum work. Okay. Uh, so nor, right now it works, you add momentum to add dice. Mm -hmm. The new way it's going to work is you can spend two momentum to turn a, a failure into a success. Um, or if you already have a success, you can spend momentum to add enhancement. Um, I'm okay with using the new way of thing. I think it's a lot nicer and I think yeah. it makes momentum a lot better. Yeah. Okay. And makes you Very more nice. likely to spend it and... Honestly, adding dice in this system is essentially worthless. Yeah. So okay. would you? Okay. So, so I if I would very much like not to botch this roll. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. All right. So 
Yeah. That is a use of momentum that I can agree to have. Give me a, so that's how we're using momentum. It's not going to add dice at any point. It either adds enhancement to an already successful roll, or it turns a failure or a botch into a basic success. I would feel a lot better. I'm down. Okay. It does not say I have to touch them. Okay. Okay. It's probably within your range. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's about Not a bummer, but no success. All right. Well, hold hold, hold on. Before before we talk about our our, our results. Sure, sure, sure. Give me a pause because I'm going to edit this conversation out. Okay, cool, cool. So given that we are using the the updated rules on momentum uh, that is coming up in StoryPath Ultra, at least as far as they've communicated to us, would you like to spend two momentum to turn that botch into a basic oh, success? God, yes. All right. So that is two momentum down. Yep. And it is a just just a one success roll is what it turns into. And I got to say, it's probably just from being jarred by the squatch. Gotcha. Jarred okay. by seeing a squatch. Uh, so what about Jackson? What did you get? Four? I got four. Awesome. What about you? Zero? Okay. Two. Two. Uh, okay. So I will say... Over most people succeeded. You already have a kind of a vibe with it. Uh, it as you approach it and you come into its line of sight, it is not immediately hostile. It's still very obviously on edge and in pain and not not happy about its situation. But there's no immediate hostility when you guys come into view. So I have uh, my gun drawn in one hand and I have a piece of beef jerky in my other. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of approach him and be like, hey, you hungry, buddy? Uh, it, it, it still doesn't, like, it, it still kind yeah. of flinches when approached. Yep. Uh, you know, even even with the lure of beef jerky. <laughs> um, I set it down and back away. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of like looking at all of you. Um, uh, as you guys hear, just like, like I said, words carried on the wind every now and then out there in the woods. And, and, I, and when they do come, I mean, I know it, it doesn't like like me, it doesn't have a super mm-hmm. great feeling about me, but I I point up and I, and I, they're coming. It, it just kind of like, it doesn't give you like an acknowledgement, but it, it kind of just looks at you for a it's moment. It's too injured to run. What? Yeah, as you guys are looking, like there's blood in the snow, mm-hmm. um, like it, it it, it looks like it has tried, tried to like wash it off, like like you're in your things like oh it was trying to wash the blood off so it would stop leaving a trail, mm-hmm. but there's just more blood coming out. Yeah, no, they clearly just stabbed and, and shot the heck out of it. Yeah. So she's gonna point to it, and I can I can fix it to where he's bleeding, mm-hmm. um, and indicate like growth and healing, and 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 she like will inch a little closer. Okay. Emma. I know. It's trying to help. I know. It um yeah, it, it it tenses up as you approach, but you are able to get close enough to where you can tr- maybe use your abilities Mend. on it. Wait, uh, give me a the roll for that, please. So, so right. while, she, while that's happening, I very quietly cycle though. through a series of European languages. Mm-hmm. Like, do you speak okay. English? To you, and I cycle to Polish, German, Spanish, French, Dutch. Okay. Um, cool. <laughs> give me a humanities roll. I like rolling ten dice. I like rolling ten dice. <laughs> it's so fun. Goodness. Yeah. All right. So four, and then I re-roll these ten. Three successes. Six. Six successes. And what, how does that apply um, mechanically? Yep. So mechanically what men does is I roll my medicine or enigmas. This was enigmas because of course. Against difficulty three to remove one condition from the target including injuries. Uh, it can only be used in the scene as a first aid healing action. Allowing the mesmerist to rapidly heal allies. The power of her mind. Okay. But like basically, yeah, she's gonna reach out, kind of. So, like, it, so it's difficulty like, three, but it heals an injury. It, it, it yeah. heals off its worst injury okay. condition. Does yeah. it say what it does on extra? Uh, what you can do with extra successes, or is it just? It nope, is what that it was it. it. No, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, it doesn't so, heal off like yeah. five power. Like so. yeah. So um, you see, like you using your mental acuity and your connection to the forces of life, you 
flow energy across the space into him. And I use Reiki. Yeah, all right, cool. Reiki is a thing then. Nice. So yeah, you 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 align your energies <laughs> and you see visibly wounds, bullet holes start to to seal up uh, in like the worst places, uh, and like there's like a shock from 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 him, but then he he kind of. Uh, uh. So you cycling through these languages, trying to get a hint of recognition. There's no hint of recognition, but when he starts to like after like the healing starts and he starts to make like grunting, you can't understand it, but you can tell there is a syntax to like that's just not random grunting. Okay, so you you and I are gonna start we on our poly, on our polyglot journey. Yes. Uh, slowly understanding the squatch. Um, <laughs> to be to be. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, but it is it yeah, you you can tell yeah, like it's it's speaking a language, but it's not it's not based off any of those. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, so I think he's he's definitely trying to speak to us, but I definitely can't understand what he's saying. Yeah. None of the languages I know. Native. Why can I bet? Let me try. I don't know any of it, but yeah, I've never been exposed to any of the to Native American languages. Yeah, but, uh, that would probably make sense if he's from around here. Yeah, we should probably like not be here, huh? Yeah. yeah. How are you, you feeling a little better now? Uh, he. Do you want he, some jerky now? He he doesn't take it from your hand, but he does go up and like pick pick up the one that you put on, All right, that's and the and takes a munch from it, mm-hmm. and like you can tell like. He's still his the the wound on his knee is still part mm-hmm. like he, yeah. he can move a little bit because he's gotten used to like where it is but he you can tell he's still immobile. Yeah. Yeah. The like I said the best I can manage is to keep them busy and draw them off of this spot. Otherwise, yeah, that's uh, that's it. I can lead them into a nasty situation. Lead us around it, but uh, I guess if you're gonna, that's what we can do here. We yeah. can't move. Yeah, if you're gonna yeah, set some false trails, I guess use some blood covered snow. That'd be probably pretty useful. Yeah, I could try it again. Oh, you can just keep doing that. I think I've, I've, after a bit, let me double check. I think you should be it's Spending based it. on your inspiration pool. Yeah, it's coming from oh. my inspiration. Oh, yeah. you can do it. If you have inspiration, yeah, yeah, you can do it. yeah burn I can it. Do it. So I, you do that thing you do. I. I don't understand it. Go for it. You're not. Oh, yeah, you gotta like align your chakras and summon the energy from your body to their body. So you just like close his wounds by the power of not touching him. Yeah. Well, I'm sending it. Like, if I could, I could touch him and do the same thing. Okay. It's the intent. As we see as you start to like do the same maneuvers, he like, he, like you're able to get a little bit closer to him. Okay. Without a reaction. All right. This one is not quite as good, but I think still okay. Maybe not. I only got two. Well, why don't you spend a momentum? And... Yeah, spend a momentum. You can spend a momentum to add an extra enhancement and turn that into a success. Yes, I will do All that. All right, so you focusing on his leg, which seems to be the, the next most grievous injury. Yeah. Uh, once remove again, yeah, you remove that injury condition, and it rises up, is able to put full weight on on it, um, and and kind of like grunts a little bit more and nods to all of you. I smile without showing teeth. Yeah. And it kind of lumbers up over to you and like leans its shoulder over. Beth will reach up, take the, the knife with the, the I, you know, that's what's going on and pull. Um, when you pull it out, mm-hmm. uh, it uh, it, 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 there's a there's a grunt and a uh, uh, and um, as soon as the 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 the, the knife is out, uh, you all hear uh, uh, in your minds. Oh, thank the forest. Oh, the head's so cool. It's a psychic squad. I have, what? A, I have a new question. The instant that that has happened, mm-hmm. not, I was not ready for that. SCP eleven hundred. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad luck go off, which is you recognize 
Im uh, imb imbued with quantum flux or otherwise power. Yes. Oh. You like you well, when you have the knife in your hand, mm. you feel an intense power, uh, like. From the knife, or from, from the, the squash? Well, from the from the knife specifically, because uh, no. it's in your hand, uh -huh. um, and like it just it feels like like you're holding lightning. Ooh. Um, and she stops and looks. She's like, oh. <laughs> "That's is that a magic knife that stopped his telepathy from working?" You are asking questions I cannot answer. And I do you, know you that hear this is a thing. Do you hear that hateful blade? It interfered with my connection to the to the flow of life. I mean, there's there's definitely stuff out there that can stop, reroute, and you know, change the flow of telluric energy. She reaches down to the river and just starts rinsing and cleaning it off. And off. So I'm gonna guess it just kind of shoved into the right spot and boom, bang, boom. You can't transmit anymore. I know not. I I thank you. I feel felt your flows. You are connected to the forest. Yeah, the, the spirits in the forest. Yeah, I'm glad we're to help. These men who walk my forest, they carry dark tidings. Well, oh, go ahead, Mister. Uh, I, I don't know. Do you know where they uh, stay? We're trying to get there so we can get rid of them. Mm. Yes. Yes, I know. I felt strange doings, strange emanations, disruptions of the flow, and went to investigate, but they were keen and felt my, saw my presence. I had to flee. They have many, many dark things, many rifles and guns. I believe is what they are called in your way. They do. Yeah, we also sensed a lot of disturbing dark things even on the outside of the forest. So our uh, our benefactors they were they decided that this couldn't keep going. Do they have any kind of egg thing that you could tell? <laughs> they have something powerful. Something that interferes with life. Something that burns. But I did not see an egg. Egg might be a metaphor. Yeah. They're still, they're still looking for you. We heard them. Mm -hmm. But if I would... must bear tidings to my kin. But I will... And, and it, it, uh, it sort of clears away a bit of snow. Uh, and one of its big fucking nasty claws uh it starts to draw um like landmarks it's not great but you can tell that it's like kind of a map if you can mm -hmm. really figure it out. yeah um uh, yeah. and i like, take note of it and a general direction uh and this is this is uh 400 strides that in that direction by the when past this rock like it gives it gives very nature-based <laughs> landmarks he's like i can and like beth listens for a bit goes, i can work with that okay uh, 800 strides guys yes. yep thanks yes i must tell my kin in the deep forest of what is happening here when it happens and we hope it does it's going to be real loud so my apologies for that mm. Sometimes, to kill a, wa a hive of wasps, one must use much smoke. Oh, we got smoke. Mm. That was lovely meeting you. I hope you have a safe trip. Because I will listen for your tidings. Perhaps I can lend some aid when the time is right. That would be absolutely lovely, but don't feel that you have to put yourself out. And it, uh, it, it, it uh, uh, rinse, it, it does, it takes another, uh, like, uh, big water in its hands, rinses itself off of, of the remainder of the blood, 
uh, and uh, and uh, like packs some mud into some of the other gunshot wounds and says, I must be on my way. Blessings of the flow upon your battle with these dark men. And also with you. And it, it kind of like silently starts to lumber off into the woods. Beth waits until like the sounds of movement are quieter and goes, I that not, I can't get that out of my brain now. I can't not understand that that happened. And Jackson just immediately like, sits on a log real heavily. Like <laughs> we just met Bigfoot. We had such a story to tell them when we get back. And there are it. more kin. <laughs> yeah, this this puts a lot of things in perspective for me. All right. Um. Anyway, yes, this is this is powerful. And she like holds up the 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 knife. It's like, hmm, okay. Uh, also, now, yeah. now we should definitely. As, as you start to examine it, it feels gross. Oh, 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 god. Yeah. Ah, like, uh, it's like when you accidentally walk into the wrong building and you find out there's been like thirty murders there. Yeah. What happens to you? Yeah. Sometimes. Wow. I, That's you, scary. You you can keep that. Okay. Um. And, but she'll keep it. Like she's tucking, she's tucking it away. Like she doesn't intend to leave it here. That's a good ass knife. No, yeah. <laughs> it's a I magic mean, knife. Wow. It's very clearly a Nazi knife, but it still might come in handy. There's no reason not hey. to stab them with their own weapon. And six and like sixty years later, some weirdo on the History Channel will fetishize it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just like it for its historical value. <laughs> All right. So what's uh, what's the plan, guys? Get the fuck out of this clearing. Let's. Yeah, I think. How do I give inspiration back? Uh, in between scenes and me- and okay. uh, specifically, you guys can Meditate. just burn a whole scene meditating, but I don't think we have time for that. No, I don't have time yeah. for that. Why don't? That's fair. Why don't we try to, uh, since we're all awake and very alert right now, do some recon on their uh, hideout now that we know where it is, or at least get a little closer and find a find a place to post up. I'm a little concerned that the well, I mean, honestly, I mean, how great can the could size squatch be at fighting? Uh, I mean, hiding. <laughs> Fighting great, hiding not so good, but don't so, underestimate big things hiding. Well, she says uh, clearly taking a personal. No, no, no. I mean, he had like two two feet on, but mm-hmm. I think you would probably be a little bit better off, you know, stealthing around their base than that guy did. Especially, but he said they have ways of seeing him, which makes me concerned that the Mechanatrix has given them some uh, some fancy uh, fancy binoculars or something. Uh, so yeah, we can, huh, depending on how far 400 paces is. Uh, I mean, he's got a really long paces. drive. I point, to, yeah. I point to some of his footsteps in the snow. So two of us. So yeah. about 800. Yeah. So about 800, yeah, sure. Uh, it's still not as long as you think. That's not so... that long, so we should probably be... That's fine. We can, we can work with this. Um, we still got some... Dot cover. Yeah, um, you guys bit. are like looking down the stream, like over to where the horizon is. You're starting to see the very beginnings of dawn start mm-hmm. to creep over. So yeah, uh, honestly, odds, I don't know. Um, you know what? I haven't tried this yet. Uh, dramatic editing. Okay. Uh, there, there we it's go. it's uh, with sunrise. The the patrol needs to get back. Okay, absolutely, it does. Uh, spend a point of inspiration. Absolutely. Uh, and the yeah, like just our luck. They are, they are about finished up with this this hunt. Yeah, they like yeah. You uh, camera cuts to uh, a a uh, yeah. We'll we'll, we'll we'll do a little preview here. Uh, mm-hmm. So there's a squad of about five men. Um, uh, four of them wearing like very kind of woodsy. Uh, where, um, you know, they have, uh, um, some, uh, military grade rifles. Um, but one of them, uh, is wearing different clothing. It's much more, uh, sty- it's very, it's, it's stylish, more rugged. Um, uh, and he, uh, has like a scar going down his brow, um, uh, and a, a holster on his hip where a knife could be. <laughs> uh, and uh, a- 
as the others like mentioned, we really need to get back. Um, he kind of like looks out into the forest, squinting with rage, <laughs> and acquiesces to going back to camp. Um, yeah, I think the odds are pretty good that uh, maybe we can follow their trail back, or again, or we can see what path they take and avoid it. Sure. Uh, go ahead and give me a survival roll to with with the the crude map and directions and the fact that you have a group of people moving back. Sure. Uh, it should be a fairly easy roll to make your way and figure out where they are. Oh, yeah, the 10. Oh, you re-rolled it. Okay, that's right. right. Yeah, no, that was the, that was the, the extra, one. don't mind me. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I, I'm going to go ahead and push with another inspiration. Okay. Uh, because that was only a 2, uh, and that'll, that'll adjust the scale. Okay, great. Yeah, so with, with superlative skill, uh, you're able to use all the information at your disposal. Uh, you kind of... Once again, find like a parallel path, uh, and you're able to like s you get a couple of glimpses of them as they're moving through the forest. As things are getting lighter and lighter and lighter, uh, as the sun slowly begins to rise over the horizon, uh, and you eventually uh, come upon sort of a a, a hill uh, a, over which you are able to get a good view uh, of a uh, a f uh, a fenced off area. Um, it's not, like, you don't see, like, a full compound, but you see a area of the forest that has had a pretty hefty-looking barbed wire fence erected, uh, and you see them, uh, going through a gate in that fence, uh, and moving down a trail deeper into the forest. She makes a gesture, uh, silently to the, the rest of the team that's, it's very similar to, ta-da! Huh. Jackson just points back, like, all right, well, let's. So pull back. All right, so you guys are gonna head back and find a find like a, a place to just to pull back so we can talk. Sure, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, you are able to head down down into the hill. Um, there's kind of a little little kind of mini cave area that you guys are able to find uh, where you can be sure that your voices won't carry. Right, and you guys are able to. So, do we oh. want to try to? Uh, find the perimeter before we find our way in, or do we want to uh, go in guns blazing? Oh, I don't think we would be chewed. I think we'd get chewed into pieces if we try going guns blazing. These guys yep. are... Uh, Sounds like there's a bunch of them. There's a lot of them. And yeah. So, I think... Unless we can get some height to see down and see see how big it is. I think finding following the perimeter of it just to uh, get an idea of the scale and the weaknesses was the best way to go. It's doable. Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. Shall we then? Yeah, I don't think they're going to be able to guard the whole thing, though. So, yeah, we can walk, look for a break in the perimeter and kind of get inside that way. Get an idea of how many we're looking at. Yeah. Hopefully. Or just how big. How big yeah. the area we're working walk, with. Walk, yeah. And oh, how many and entrances and egresses. Like. All right. Uh, so you guys are just going to patrol Re that fence area? Run recon, yep. yeah. Okay. Um, at some point I'll probably try to climb a tree just to get a better view and to sure. help, see if I can see anything inside. But so you guys walk, um, you guys walk a good couple of miles around this fence. Um, you know, it's it, you know it, there are places where it's kind of difficult to get through. Like they've cleared a little, like it's clear that they've cleared like around a, a a place to put the fence up. Mm -hmm. uh, I need someone to make me an enigmas roll to kind of figure out based off of this section of fence. How big of an area that we're dealing with? Enigma is cunning. It sounds like math to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want to do primary, and I'll back you up. Yeah, I mean, I can. I've got seven dice to go on this one. Okay, I've got nine. Well, then I'll back you up. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I might have got everything into Enigma. Awesome. Excellent. Excellent. Sure. So better about that. Yep. Okay. So I got three successes to three, help you out. Okay. Four. 
Okay, so putting your heads together, doing some quick calculations, uh, you can tell. So they've probably fenced off about 10 acres. Um, uh, judging about like, you know, if, you, if, you, if the compound is in the center of that 10 acres mm-hmm. um, and they, you know, have, uh, you know, you figure this is a pretty decent sized compound or, or but given where it is, it's actually probably more sparse. Uh, like they could have a, a huge compound out here, yeah. but given that they're trying to keep it secret, you think that there's probably just they've they've oversold their perimeter um, uh, in the interest of of keeping it hidden. So you don't think it's probably not like very large, um, but you have a general idea from the fence where it would be based off your calculations. So. At a good clip, you think it would probably take you an hour from the fence to where the com- where you think the compound is. I imagine there's like little doodles in the yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, I think we can. I think that's pretty doable, especially you know, there's a, there's no way they filled in ten ten full acres of anything. Nah. So so, I, 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 I wish we had any idea on how many guys that were here. That would be wonderful, but I guess we'll have to make do. Yeah, I mean, I will say that you guys would be, would be able to identify five pairs of footprints from the party that was right. patrolling or, mm-hmm. or on the hunting mission. Uh, that would be easy enough to tell. Um, so they got enough guys that they don't mind sending out five of them hunting a squatch. Four of them and whoever this is. It's true. I imagine but that was... This is not a, a uh, normal... That's not some, mm. uh, some Christian fundamentalist toy, <laughs> at last I checked. No. It's actually really gross the way that they took this symbol because it's not. It, they didn't make it. I clarify that. Say yeah. that again. No, that is an ancient symbol. Uh, pause. Because Kelly just foobarred it. Sure, 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 sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, no, that is an ancient symbol. That is far older than this stupid, crappy Aryan master race bullshit that they're pushing. Oh, you mean the, okay, yeah. I thought you meant, like, no, no, the energy gross. and the knife. No, no, the energy and the knife is fucking gross. Okay. But I, much like what they've been doing, it's just taking a bunch of shit there isn't theirs. Although, since we're working on fairy tale logic at this point, probably subverting that symbol made that way more powerful, right? <laughs> it's real gross. I don't want it. I oh, don't know more about that than I don't know. I'm just working on magic boy logic at this point. This is this stuff's crazy. We met Squatch. I, like I said, I can't un, unknow that. Uh, but it does. <laughs> yeah. it With the does, promise you know, of more make... squatches. With the promise of more squatch, yeah. Yeah, hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of concerned, but also I bet really babies, pleased. I bet that babies are really cute. <laughs> you know, um, let's just look back at the mission. Curious. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, now I'm thinking Head about baby squatches. Mm-hmm. Head in the game. Head in the game. All right, so we probably so we obviously don't want to go into the main entrance. We can see if there is an exit diametrically on, or I don't. Were there any other entrances and exits as we found as we uh, circled it, or was it just the one gate? Yeah, there was the one, there was only the one gate. Uh, like like based off what what uh, Beth had determined, there's very few in and outs, and like the like it wasn't a road; it was a trail. Right trail. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, this is. How tall is the fence? Uh, the fence is actually pretty tall. It's about ten feet. Razor, pretty, pretty r- razor wire. wire. Um, I mean, you could get through yeah, it, cut through but it. you yeah. know, power of levers. Yeah. Yeah, if we brought uh, wire cutters, that's yeah, definitely the way to yeah, go. Yeah, I definitely bolt cutters. I mean, yeah, yeah, I you got made, bolt. You made pipe bombs, of course. You I bought. Have... <laughs> you, you seem like a man who has bolt cutters. I have, my, I have a tiny spare with me at all times. <laughs> All right, that's not exactly true, but I got bull cuts. So getting into the fence is no problem. Oh, also important, I throw some snow on the fence. Spark? Yeah. Ah, knew it. Of course. Oh, that complicates things. Find the, gotta find the power source. Oh gosh, if it's that weird caloric reactor thing they're using, that's probably inf- some sort of stupid infinite energy device or some crap. Stupid huh. the laws of physics. Wait, wait for me here. Because <laughs> this is this is her being Beth tragically, uh, she's gonna take the the knife out because she knows it does it does like 
I like where your head's at. I like it. No, let's mm-hmm. go. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like if I if I fall backwards, like just just oh. help, right? Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, and she'll like she'll see what the knife does. To Maybe the wrap face. an insulator around that before you. Oh. <laughs> I have gloves. <laughs> Let me see what a good roll for this would yeah. be. I think this falls under environmental damage. <laughs> it might. It might. You don't see environmental damage get thrown around too terribly much, but this might count. No, no, I'm, I'm thinking of something different That's what here. Say, and I'm going to flat out tell you I'm resistant to environmental damage. <laughs> <laughs> of course you are. Thank you. Thank you. I know my one job. <laughs> I need an integrity roll from you. Heck yeah, you do. <laughs> I'm going to do stamina and integrity. <laughs> you do it. Oh boy. Oh. Uh, is there complications or difficulty modifiers on this? Yes, there is a negative three complication on this roll. I'm going uh, to dig deep. Okay. Once per chapter, you ignore all complications or difficulty modifiers for a single action that's not an attack. Good time. Nice. nice. <laughs> Ooh, that's a her story one. <laughs> is story session in this system, or is that no, arc? That session is... G- it's it's okay. through a chapter. Oh, so okay. chapter's the arc. Um, what is the, what's the actual wording on it? Sure. Uh, once per chapter. Chapter, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, chapter is an arc. So there'll be, a, there'll be like two or three arcs in this game total. Cool. Yep. Depending uh, on how things shake out. Cool. Oh, chapter wait. one, the splotch is on. Come here. Cool. So three, three successes, and that is good that you did that. You ignored that complication. Um, so you make contact with the knife, uh, and the moment that you do, um, there's like arcs of power uh, going up and down the wires, sort of like looping and resonating around with the knife, um, uh, and uh, for a moment. You you see another forest. Um, the trees are wrong and different, different types of bark, different types of leaves. Um, you see three moons in the night sky. Uh, and then there is a shower of sparks as this section of the, uh, the fence uh, goes dead. So given my experience with Taloric weaponry uh, blowing up in my general city, kind of, kind of, kind of a... There was re- certainly a Taloric reaction <laughs> yeah, uh, like... between the knife and the, the defense. Uh, but yeah, it is now sure. dead. I, I don't care what Whitley says, it's just magic. <sighs> How are you feeling? Mm. I'm already scrambling over, let's hurry. Nice I have questions. Like three moon. Like she looks a little woozy, and she's like, like three moons. Did I, what? Yeah. And like follows. I just like look up. You mean like, like the one moon? You mean like in them? You mean like in them cereals? Like you see in stars. Mm-mm. I'm just cl- I'm bolt cutting while yeah, I'm talking. Yeah, you're, you're able to. <laughs> the, the whole the whole world was different. You weren't here. Oh, you had vision. I, I, if so, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Yeah, I don't know yeah, they kind of. Yeah, and that always. Well, I, you know, I, I feel like the way you got there is a little like out of left field for getting for you know Ooh, some nice. people just like I don't know, get a little Ooh. drunk, sit in a sweat lodge. Oh yeah. You know that yeah, kind of take, stuff. You take some herbs. That was. I mean. That I, was a. So or you actually saw another place that is tied to whatever they're doing. Oh, um, you think they're trying to pull that here? That wasn't nature. Those weren't trees. They were pretending to be trees. They were lying about being trees. They weren't trees. I mean... I can't yeah. say I follow all of that exactly, but yeah, maybe. I maybe, mean, we don't know we, what they're up to. Maybe if we run into, a, run into the Squatch again, we can ask him about the uh, if he recognizes three moons. Yeah, I've got, I've got that to my mental list. She'll just, like, I mean, look at the knife, like... Telluric energy came mm. from somewhere else, right? Maybe you saw that somewhere else. I, I don't... I, Telluric I energy mean, is something in the reports. I don't... You know, I mean, if you want to talk about alternate dimensions and, like, higher places of being, but let's go through the... You're best. a nice lady, but I'm not sure I do. That's fair. Not okay. now and not that loudly. Yeah, 
Sorry. Oh, All right, yeah, so you were able to cut your way through a, a good section of it um, uh, and make your way. So are you are you doing this, like, off a uh, different place from the gate? Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, way, we're, like, way. probably a quarter of the way around, so okay. I would imagine uh, yeah. so we're well out of the way of the trail, but assuming it's straight. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so you cut your way through and are on to the other side. Um, uh, I am going to need another survival roll uh, from uh, Beth, most likely, if I were the best one to pick it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She does Absolutely. have uh, superpowers. I mean, again, yeah. everybody's using my survival if necessary. But yeah. Thank goodness. <laughs> How did I not think I would need survival? Oh. <laughs> I think it's fun to leave gaps. It is fun. Yeah, to leave. yeah I appreciate. It. Like I said, I yeah. have niches. Yes. <laughs> Gotta have niches. Yep. Do not ask me to punch someone. Whoops, dead. Uh, hey guys. Uh oh, that ain't nothing. That's flat nah. That's a That's flat nah. Okay. Right, we well, you do not have enough momentum to turn it into a into a success, but you okay. but that does give you enough momentum. That's, that's but you can't. Breaks. But uh, yeah, you, yeah. It, it's an indeterminate thing. It's either mm -hmm. one thing or it's the other. Uh, so okay, so. Uh, yeah, it's about to say the. Uh... You, once you're on the other side of things, mm -hmm. um, you start to your. You're still, your bell's still wrong. Mm -hmm. um, like, you're still, like, you still have, like, flashes of those other trees. And um, uh, would someone else like to make a survival roll real quick? I'll give it a shot. Since I'm using that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> at, at the grace of the storyteller, sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's fair. If at any point you're no, like, fine. that power you're, turns you're, off. Your you power will... Um, it's, it's a it's a constant power. It yeah, is. then then nice. that happens. Nice. I got three successes. So she's leading you around, like, and you start to pick up on, like, we've been this pet, like we've I've seen I, that 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 bush yeah, before. I, I remember. It's like like she's taking you on a kind of a zigzag wrong path. Beth, 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 Beth. What? I think you might. I think I, I think we're we're, we're moving in uh, circles. So, uh, maybe, are you all right? Yeah, just let me, uh, let me sit down and get my bearings. Yeah, yeah, take, take a, take a load off real quick. As long as we're quiet, I don't think, I mean, I don't see any footprints around here other than ours, so I don't think they look around here very much. Oh, we should definitely be mindful of bear traps, though, because they, because they're a bunch of hicks and might have set some. <laughs> no offense to all you hicks out there. <laughs> she literally laughs, like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Noted. There's all sorts of traps in the woods. Holes, spiders. I mean, it's sometimes snakes. it's sometimes it's not even people traps. Sometimes it's just the traps the animals make for you. Cougars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, no, she'll she'll sit and and sort of try and regain bearings and and rest a little. But okay, yeah, um, you definitely are able to rest a little bit. Um, uh, everyone's keeping track of their inspiration. Yeah, I was like, I think yeah. we get an inspiration back for, yeah, for yeah, absolutely, you do. Mm -hmm. okay. um, I'm at full. I'm at full. Yeah, we yeah. just didn't see that. I'm only down one now. Yeah, it's like, it's like we both appreciate that, that, That's yeah. why I was like... We get them on the scene change and yeah. by resting. Yeah, yeah absolutely. No, no, so, so just listen to your heart. When it's calling for you. Yeah, and and I'm not, I'm not going to de de denotate scene changes because I don't I don't think it. But generally, when you're like in a new situation and doing things, mm -hmm. that indicates a scene change. Yep. So yeah. So just keep keep a keep a track on that in your head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, um, so yeah, you're able to get your bearings a little bit better. Um, uh, go ahead and make me another survival roll. There is going to be a uh, negative two complication on this one. Oh, and as a warning, I'm going to be a little lighter on using dramatic editing because stalwarts, it's, it's, it yeah. costs two. Ouch. Got it. Yep, no worries. We got some other weird stuff we can do, but... Okay. Yeah, one more point, please. <laughs> yeah, that's okay, you can do that. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> You oh. can just stay right there. You can just be a 10. I love rolling exalted dice, but not getting exalted successes. <laughs> I mean, this seems pretty exalted to me. 
and you did it again. Cool. Woo! Keep the party rolling. Oh boy. Cool. All right. So just the four. But four. Four, four percent. Yeah. That's good. You're able to get back on track, and you are able to avoid uh, the uh, a um, uh, basically a fall a pitfall trap. <laughs> Uh, that they have in fact set. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, and as you do that, um, you once again like find like you sh- you guys do start to hear like sounds of people, um, and you're able to maneuver yourself into a kind of a blind fall area uh, that you guys are able to, and you guys see a cu- about maybe fifty yards. Um, you see the 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 trees start to clear out. And uh, you see into a clearing uh, where there are some buildings. Uh, you see, um, uh, like a, you see a vehicle pass by, like from one part of the compound to another. Uh, and you hear on uh, uh, in the morning air, you hear like the sounds of a radio playing. And uh, Beth will look at the group and be like, "All right, you very uh, interesting people." This is where you all tell me what to do. Yeah, I pull my binoculars out and I'm trying to be very still and just seeing how, if I can see how many people I see out and about right now. And okay. get an idea of how, like, big, you know, what, what kind of buildings I'm looking at from this direction. Just kind of trying to understand the lay of the land. Sure. Um, give me, let's see here, what would be good. Uh, give me a larceny roll. Sure. Uh, to kind of case the joint. Would you like my help? Uh, and case your yes. um, your binoculars will give you plus one enhancement. Sweet. I will help. Yep. I just want to do larceny composures. Yeah. Two will do one. Do the same roll. Oh, uh, what's your larceny? One. Uh, it's yours. Is I mean, yeah. I just, no, no, no. Go for it. Awesome. Go for it, please. I don't help in the least. In fact, <laughs> I mean, I don't get in the way. But I don't help. Uh, right. I got two successes. Oh, two shit. successes. Well, yeah, there's a failure, but you get a momentum for it. Um, okay, right, so then. yeah, you're starting to case the joint. Um, uh, what are you looking for? Like, what's what type of things are you trying to find? Uh, I am trying to see what these buildings are that we can see. Mm-hmm. Um, like, you know, is that barracks, mess hall, laboratory? You know, trying to get an idea of what it is and uh, how many people there are up and about going to them and what they look like like do they look like military do they look like um some, okay you know weak nerds the, that kind of yeah, thing the building that you see is definitely a barracks okay uh and you see a, mm, about 10 guys out in front of it Ooh. um and these look these look like militiamen like they look like they're not wearing like uniforms but they are wearing like they're they're wearing Rugged clothing with like holsters and straps. Like they have, all of them have guns. Um, uh, you know, some of them, some of them like are like in the process of putting on coats. Like they're all like this is this is morning, uh, mm-hmm. morning. They're all getting up from from the night's rest. Uh, you know, um, you know, drinking some coffee, uh, smoking some cigarettes, kind of thing. Um, and yeah, so you see like ten guys milling out in front of the breakfast, probably about to go somewhere else um since this is what yeah. is it's pr- fairly substantially sized barracks um yeah I, oh yeah sorry or you just wanted to look at, i had a oh, no, question like, barracks 10 got 10 10 guys uh, types. how are they moving power around are they do we see power cables up or are they running on the uh, ground yeah you do see a you do see a power line going from the barracks uh off deeper into the camp Okay. So we got ways to cut their power. We got uh, free missiles. I point at the car as it passes by. That's good. Free stuff. Also, a lot of gasoline. Yeah. Get my siphon and hose out. Why don't we continue going around and see what else we can see before we get any closer? Oh, yeah. I was, I'm, just, I'm just having a little fun. Let's go. All right. So you guys are trying to infiltrate the place. Do a uh, go around so we can see other build. You know what okay. else there is. All right. Now I'm going to need a group larceny roll. Oh no. Awesome. Okay. We have a little momentum right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. 
Can I use my resolve to be very sneaky? Sure. <laughs> Alright, don't fail me now. Same back pool I just rolled. I got you! Oh, oh shit, that's all. Awesome. I like you, Dice. You're being really nice, nice to me today. Oh, Jeez, okay. I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> I ended up with four tens, so that's great. Nice. You were feel, you were feeling your larceny, huh? And spy boys. <laughs> I got five successes. All right. Nice. I got three. Just the one. Two. Okay. Um, you guys are moving around. Um, uh, Melvin, you, uh, you hear just in time, uh, to get everyone to pull back, uh, the sound of an approaching vehicle, uh, that seems to be, uh, heading, uh, you, like, you hear it just in time to stop everybody from, like, stepping out onto a, gra onto a gravel road and getting full sight of a vehicle that passes by. Uh, so yeah, the, there's a tense moment of just all you almost got caught, but you were able to stop everybody. How many people were in the car? Uh, it looks like there were three people in the car as it passed by. The tally keeps going. Thirteen. No sign of any of the Mechanatrix's toys. That bugs me. We haven't seen anything. All the power went deeper into camp. That's true. I just hope that she doesn't have any of them fancy auto guns that I heard about. If we do, don't worry. I got, I got something. But all right, keep on, keep on keeping on. Yeah, yep. gotta find, a, gotta get deeper in. Silent yep. around, seeing what other buildings we can, what else, what else we can see. All right, I'm going to need a science roll from somebody as your guys trying to identify buildings and trying to find one that might look like howdy. It'll uh, it'll house the kind of things that you're looking for. I have one whole dot. I can help. As do I. <laughs> I'm more of a doer than the the, the um the practical science. Yeah, it's the practical <laughs> sciences. Uh, or I will te technology would also be applicable. I, okay, I'm a little better at that. I, I could still help. Okay. Awesome. I'll take any help I can get. The D10 yeah, can be a one. <laughs> the D10 can be a cruel mistress. It giveth and it taketh away. Oh, <laughs> nice. badass here. Another, I only got a badass over here. Mm -hmm. Another five. All right, and I add one. So six. Okay. Six. Awesome. Nice. So, moving from building to building. Uh, heading back into the tree line occasionally, following the power lines, uh, you eventually come upon um, a large barn um, type building. It's always a barn. Um, at, at, from which uh, all of the power cables are emanating. Um, you uh, see... Um, uh, Patrolling outside of it uh, is a small, uh, man-sized looking mechanical automaton the um, that that uh, is uh, sort of moving or moving around the building. And as it as it um, as it moves around one corner, you see another one. Uh, so you see, like you wait for a little bit, you see these. Basically, you see these two automatons patrolling the, the perimeter of the building. Mm -hmm. um, this is a metropolis shit. Uh, yeah, this is like. This is this looks like it doesn't look human at all. Mm -hmm. It looks like a mechanical creature yeah. um, with like with, with a mounted uh, uh, rifle on it uh, and kind of a um, uh, a system of like rotating mirrors on its, okay, this on its head. Like a Fritz Lang nightmare. Don't get caught. Don't get caught by the mirrors. That's how it sees. Great. Um, Great. Yeah, so that's what you guys see. Okay, so mm -hmm. I can't say that those won't be tough in a. I mean, okay, also. If we can I, shoot I, out the mirrors, we can 
that would be good shooting. I can I can probably how far are they fit? How far is the barn physically from us in terms of range bands? Uh, range bands, it is at long range from you. Understood. Okay. Yeah, I would have to get closer to do anything, but uh, it's kind of open field. I'm guessing between. Yeah, us it, it, is, it is an open field. There is like a big, uh, like probably the biggest, most proper road that you've seen coming from this area off uh, off into other areas of the compound. And why don't we? Oh no 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 please. We know the guys back there had rifles. If we're gonna start the shooting, you go get one of their rifles, and then you have no, a better yeah. shot with those mirrors. Yeah, we'll get. No, we definitely need a long gun. Yeah. I need a long gun. <laughs> I'm assuming Ayan didn't give me one when I put it on my list. Um, no, you guys, you guys could have like a long gun. Yeah. Okay, um, never mind. With you, um, uh, as you guys are waiting, uh, you hear the sound of an approaching vehicle. Um, uh, and like from your vantage point, you see uh, two people in it. Uh, one kind of militia-looking lot guy, uh, and the uh, gray, long-coated figure of the machinatrix uh, driving up to the barn. Uh, she is like perusing a, a, a book uh, with uh, a mechanical-looking monocle that uh, that zooms in and out various things. That bitch. Hmm. Side at her. I'm going to do this right now. Bonds. Uh, you don't want me to throw these. That's these are not the throwing type of bombs. Okay. These are the, uh, these are the, you plant them kind of bombs. Uh, that, no. Nay, nay. nay. We can't. Not yet. We can't. We're not ready for that smoke. But I am a little concerned that. 15, 15, I'm going to, when we get, I, I hmm? got to get closer to the thing before we. I gotta see it because the one thing I'm really worried about is that when things like that, you saw what happened when you just t touched little bits of power to something with a little bit of that type of energy. Yeah. Now imagine an infinite source being hit by like a multiple dynamites worth of explosives. So we don't know what's gonna happen. How did the automatons react to them driving up, by the way? Um, the one that was kind of like, um, no, the one that could see them, uh, yeah, yeah, the one, the ones that could like, because so, they're going around the building. Mm -hmm. uh, the one that was kind of closest to it stopped uh, and let the and pa let the vehicle pass, and then continued its patrol. How is she in control? Or is she? That's a good question. Yeah, recognize them somehow, or or at least recognize it. it. I recognize think that it. brings a total of twenty folks, and then two of those mm -hmm. things. There is the slightest gap between their between their patrols. We could probably one of us could probably get in. Right. What do you need? Or we create some kind of distraction that sends them off in that direction. That's smarter. Mm -hmm. we that can, way, we got plenty of distraction. <laughs> uh, once again, as you guys are uh, talking and waiting, um, a motorcycle. Uh, with a sidecar comes up uh, to the building. Uh, one sort of militia guy looking. And although you guys did not see that, the fierce looking man with a scar mm -hmm. uh, is riding in the sidecar. I can tell uh, you. Now that's a Nazi. I can tell you that right now. Seen him? Smell him. too. That's, yeah. a, that's definitely a Nazi. These um, guys want to be Nazis. Real Nazi. Um, and he uh, drives up. Um, uh, uh, and starts to speak with the the machinatrix who is still she she is still in the car outside, um, finishing reading her books. Uh, and so they are ha they start to have a conversation outside the building. What many, are you guys doing? How many people are within eye shot of us right now? Other than the ones that we are like we got two automata that are on patrol. We got uh, someone driving the car. Obviously, mm -hmm. we have the Mechanatrix. We have someone's driving Nazi boy and the and Nazi boy. Yeah. So, so you have two automatons, two drivers. Yeah. And the Mechanatrix and this other guy. Scarface. So I guess the question is, think we could take them? <laughs> I think we can certainly start something. The th those things, and she points to the automatons, they're not going to run through the heavy brush. If we got to do a thing in bold, 
can, but you think I can do a, a quick a, just a, just watching as they move? Do you think I can kind of get an idea of whether that's that's actually correct? Whether they would be impeded if but at all, or are they like quadruped? Or uh, give me a technology roll. Sure. While you're doing that, I'm just going to point can out, like again? you okay. know, they are still right now. If there's another way into that barn on the other side. Oh. Hit your right. <laughs> well, getting yeah, around the, the other the side. The automatons are still patrolling. The one paused oh, okay, to let the okay. vehicle pass, okay, and then continued to patrol. Oh, okay. Sorry, my, my misunderstood. So I just acknowledge it. I contribute a one again. Five okay. successes. Five successes. Um, yeah, you examine the automatron as it's passed. Um, there are actual stats for these things. Ooh, ah. terrifying. I didn't think of that. Look, look, if it can bleed, it can die. <laughs> I don't care if you bleed oil or blood, you're going down. If you have stats, you can be killed. <laughs> of course, that applies to us, but that's fine. We also have stats. We, we also have stats. <laughs> we have very much can be killed. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and not fight and save I'm it. Gonna add the, I'm going to add that my aspirations not die today. <laughs> That, um, these things look pretty agile. Like they, they think that they look like they're built for pursuit. Nah, they run. They run fast. They probably run better than we do. No room for mistake. Uh, I hate machines. I want to. Uh, if I don't know if these are close enough, since but because uh, it just says around you. Mm -hmm. But uh, I have a the uh, gift warrior's eye. Um, spin an inspiration. You may ask the story guide questions about the mechanical capabilities of combatants around your character um, for each rank in the associated skill. Same. Uh, ask a single question about the combatant's uh, defense, style edges, complications, weapon and armor tags, active gifts, scale, tier, etc. Okay. Um, so you would like to activate that? I would. Uh, what skill and who are you activating it on? Uh, aim. Um, and it says combatant. So if uh, if it's okay, I'd like to ask about a couple about different ones. Like I'd like to ask one about the mecha mechanics. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Namely, what does her defenses look like for say being shot at? Uh, she also has stats. <laughs> um, also, Melvin, remember you're sitting on a clue. I am sitting. Yeah. On a clue. Good call. Hard on me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. I'm just in hydrate or dehydrate mode. <laughs> um. She looks like. You would say that she probably has pretty decent self-defense training. Um. Uh, probably not like so she she probably knows how to how to act when bullets starts flying even if she is not capable of, of being of, of being effective in a firefight okay. um, how hardy do the automatons look in comparison um, to say, a person compared to a person um, They look about as um, about as uh, hardy as your average man on the street. Okay. Um, so I guess um, the danger there comes in the hitting, getting to the hitting them and hurting them. Part. Oh, so yeah. The next question I was going to ask was: uh, um, Are there complications to hitting the, the uh, mechanatrix? The mechanatrix. Uh, yes, she she probably has some sort of defensive device. Uh, that will that preserves her life. I don't think we can take them, guys. Um, not directly like this, honestly. There's four of them. There's six of them and the, four of us. Um, I think we need to. Yeah, I think, I'm whispering, but yeah. I think we need to play it cool, real cool, because uh, yeah, I don't think it's an end of fights the way we win this. I think we uh. So um, tonight then. The conversation at the uh, car seems to conclude itself, um, and uh, they uh, 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 the man uh, points to the two two drivers and like kind of, kind of like barks out an order, um, and they proceed to get out of their cars and start to open up the barn doors. Ooh. Um, uh, enough to allow the vehicle uh, vehicle to drive in. Wish we, um, wish we had spy cameras. Oh, we have a camera. Uh, we have a camera. Uh, 
Uh, well, if anyone would like to make a larceny roll to attempt to either get a look or even grab a picture oh, yeah. uh, of, of what you can see as the doors open. They're not open completely, uh, just literally just enough to get the, the, the vehicles in. I will hand the camera to somebody who can do that. I'm going to do a larceny roll, try to get my binoculars up in time to see. No, I see nothing. Mm, excuse me. Did you make a roll? Uh, I don't wear sneak. Oh, okay. So, I mean, you can, you can make an attribute roll. Um, you said the binoculars gave me one or one two. One enhancement. One enhancement. Okay, so I got uh, four total. Okay. So as you guys are kind of scrambling, Jackson, you bring up your binoculars. One. And one. All right, cool. You can, you can add enhancements to, yeah. to, to Jackson. Yeah. Uh, you bring up your binoculars just in time um, uh, as there's like a spark of energy from in that illuminates um, a very tall, a large, humanoid-shaped mechanical monstrosity. Um, it has, you know, two legs, two arms, um, a kind of caged in cockpit area. Uh, or you see a seat, oh, um, no, a and you see you see That's like the, the like all the wires seem to be connected to it. Metal Gear, um, and sort of in kind of the belly area of it, you see a uh, sort of in a socket, a large glowing purple egg shaped gem. And that is where we're going to end the session today. Ah! All we right, found we found it unfortunately, and it's in Metal Gear. <laughs> they made a mecha fashion. They did. Indeed. But I think I hit my aspirations. All right, yeah. Well, let's go over XP real quick. Um, so, that, who of that of you got a aspiration? Uh, I found my next job. Yes. All right. So you hold on. Let's. Where are you? Found your next job, so you got one. Mm -hmm. uh, you haven't gotten really in and thrown out of a tussle. Nope. Uh, what about Emma? Uh, you, I think you got. I think I got both. Yeah, I think you got both of your aspirations. Okay. Woo uh, What about Beth? What did you get? I think I've accomplished both. Yeah. I've got a yeah, job. I have a nice, I have deal. nice yep. deal. Okay. And I have certainly met some very interesting people. Yeah. <laughs> what about Melvin? No. Uh, no. Okay. No. All right. He had very, uh, very specific goals in coming back to America. This was not on the docket, but it was now. Yeah, if it was just find a contract that you had to have All right. the State Department. So per per aspirations, you get an XP. Unfortunately, you all did not achieve an, a, a short term aspiration, so you don't get an XP for that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm giving three base okay. per session. Uh, so yeah, you get that aspirations. Uh, no one achieved the long term aspirations. You did spend half your available momentum in a single theme. Yeah, we sure did. So you get a additional one. Okay. And uh, I, I, I say that the beginning of a story is a story milestone, so you all get an additional one XP. Okay. Thank you. All righty. Awesome. Yay. Uh, so um, does anything, anyone have anything they'd like to plug for when this eventually airs? I don't know exactly when I'm going to be airing this. Mm -hmm. uh, if it is prior to uh, to March, please look forward to uh, to an upcoming adventure of mine on Girls Run These Worlds. If it's post March, there's some awesome bonds for uh, for Blue <laughs> Pride. All right, fantastic. So look look for that either either live or later. Um, it'll be in the show notes when that is. Uh, I would like to plug Simulacra Studios. Absolutely. Uh, if you'd like to support the show and the channel, you can go to patreon.com slash Simulacra Studios. You can follow and or subscribe on Twitch or YouTube at Simulacra TV. Uh, if you'd like to get in contact with me, Simulacra RPGs on Twitter. Currently, who knows? The future is uncertain on the bird site. Um, <laughs> and if you do like to become a patron, uh, the primary benefit of that is access to the Discord, where you can chat with myself and all past and present few players, as well as get access to casting calls for future Simulacra Studios projects. So we will see you whenever I decide to air this <laughs> interval. Uh, we're doing this well in the future. V for victory. V for victory. Yeah. 
And I, I feel certain that the n- amount of Nazi punching is about to ramp up. Oh, yeah. Yay. Stonks will rise. Stonk, <laughs> not, Nazi punching stonks will rise. I'm All right. Good night, everybody. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. Thank you.